have done not one thing to prepare for the cruise. I am preparing. Well, I've been preparing, but I'm preparing a couple things in the next couple days here. Okay. So today, I'm going to get my hair cut when I look fresh for the cruise. And yeah, then, man, you better look fresh. Yeah, huh? yeah I know. Better, oh, yeah. You look down when I be thrown <laughs> Listen, man, I'm all about fresh. Fresh to death. And mm. then on Wednesday... We go get a spray tan. Ooh, oh man! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, savage! Baby. I'm gonna hit a savage. <laughs> oh no! Uh, the pale like, Irishman out on the deck. <laughs> Carmen might fall in love with you at this point. Uh oh! Listen, I can't go out there, pale Irishman. Yeah, I mean, it, I'll burn You're up fried. so bad. I, I, you know, I obviously have sunblock, but at least it will look a little bit better. Yeah, you did the spray tan last year. I did. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. Yeah, it looks I mean, in, uh, yeah. Listen, I'm uh, I'm joking. I'm not going to go savage tan. I'm going to go, you know. You need a layer, a base layer. Yeah, yeah, just light, whatever, so it looks like I have a little bit of sun at least. So you don't, I don't get out there and people go, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Other ships are turning because they think they're <laughs> the being summoned. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I used to spray tan, but it's just, you know what it really bugs me is it's not, it has nothing to do with you or you shouldn't do it. But that smell of the spray tan, yeah. and just after doing it so for so long, it kind of makes me nauseous. Oh, and it I, smells I, like tanning oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Delicious. It, I don't like it. I, like, you won't smell it, I'm not saying that. I just don't. I'm, I'm just done with it. I don't know. It makes my hands look weird. <laughs> I never do it right. Yeah. You know? Regular tan. You'll be tanned in no time no, when yeah. an hour yeah. in the sun. Do you have to get fully nude for the tan? They do you everything. You can, or yeah. if you want to wear your. You going in the machine, or, whatever. or are you going to have yeah. some. Yeah, yeah. 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 You go naked. You go, you go. Right. Gonna get you a little wean doll stand up a little bit. <laughs> a little. Well, I, I like mine to look like a golden, like a just freshly cooked chicken nugget. No, no tan lines. Yeah. No tan lines. No tan lines. Well, that's good. All right, good. One guy down. What are you going to do, Spanish? Are you going to take the beads off? Oh, no, definitely not going to take the beads off. I actually called the cruise company and said, there's going to be a guy trying to sneak heroin on board. <laughs> in, yep. beads? in beads? Yeah, yeah. you crush the beads. Enough. No, you crush the beads. Yeah. 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 Crush please the... don't let those beads come on board with no, us. I'm uh, cutting some shirts into halter tops to get ready for the, uh, nice. the cruise. That's, in. that's right. And uh, I got my hammock ready to go. I'm ready, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going to be a great opportunity for us to wrap you up in that hammock. You can try. The minute I, you fall asleep, we're going to duct tape it closed. Oh, there will be no sleeping. If so, you wonder what it was like to be in the womb. <laughs> you know, we give Joe a hard time about video and not doing uh, videos and doesn't know what the hell he's doing and all that stuff. <laughs> it, but that's what you decide to go in video? Is this guy in a hammock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, that's the one. That's not like, a single yeah, video uh, a decade. I, I got to do it. Yeah. If he's going to be in a hammock, I got a video of this. <laughs> I've actually blocked both of you, so uh, I don't have to see those. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell them our conversation? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> oh, You're no. probably the one telling you should do that. That's hilarious. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> tell him what. <laughs> Spanish to call me and he uh, he actually texted me and said, "Hey, my video's up. Can you share it in the story?" Oh, oh. And I did not. And then later on, <laughs> oh. we talked on the phone. He goes, "Hey, by the way, my video's up. Can you share it?" I go, "Spanish, your video's kind of gay." Uh, <laughs> and he goes, "He goes, yeah, yeah, I know." But I go, "It's just, it's not, it's not. I'm not saying don't do it and don't put it on your timeline and all that stuff. But it's not on brand for us. We do like funny stuff or nah. oh no. But I don't oh, think oh. he's not doing it to be funny. I'm not." Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'll be funny. honest with you. I haven't watched it, so yeah. I don't know. I saw it. And then <laughs> Please I watch it right now. Mm. Please uh, watch it right now. Oh no! I want you to watch it <laughs> and then, and try to watch it without throwing your phone. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's the well. It, it's listen, not the worst. The, it's just the, not the, it, the popping open of the thing. And immediately I go no. I'm well, gonna, I'll be honest. That adds suspense. This is adorableness. You know, just, hey, the most everybody. watched videos I got on my thing. So, yeah, because everybody thinks you're mental right now, and they don't know whether or not you're you're going left or right. right. Yeah. So those are not mental. Welcome to the spiritual sanctuary. Oh. Yeah. You know, a lot of people's biggest struggle. I can't do it. 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 Just your face. Your your half. Smiling, yeah, oh, 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 oh. jump out of the hammock. Ugh. Like, like you don't understand the people that that don't know you. They're like, oh, look at Spanish, you know. To people that know you, we want to kick you in the face. That's fine. You, you've. Uh, it'd be different if, uh, if after the show you like, were like, you know, I'm just doing this for like a bit or whatever. But it's not. This is really you. You're like Yogi Spanish now. Yeah, I, I guess. Oh just, my God, not really. I, I feel like one day you're gonna come to us and go. God, remember, I'm sorry. I can't remember. I can't believe I did that. And I. Uh, so I, I haven't made it past that point. Are you giving advice or are you? What yes. Are you doing? Not really. Yes, you are. I'm giving. I'm talking about my experience. Yeah. That's well, it. then why are you telling you like 
I learned that once you give, you got to forgive yourself in order to forgive others. And once you forgive yourself, then you can forget. I'm like, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus, you you're, watch you're it doing the opposite effect you didn't of the watch world. It at all. Yes, I totally. Did. What did I say? Grace. You said grace, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I you said, did. You were like, I said uh, the word grace you, at once the you end. give yourself. No, you. The whole thing was about like forgiving yourself first, and then you or I don't know, loving yourself, and then loving others, or something like that. It's about accepting who you are for who you are, not what you've done. Yeah, same as King Crab. Forgiveness. <laughs> Forget. I gotta use that song. <laughs> By the way, that's Even funny. If. Uh, so, but it's uh, videos up if you want to put it on the. Uh, no, no, oh, okay. it doesn't make the cut. It, it hurt me. I never say no. I never oh, say no, sure? and I was like, that's I can't be part of this. Yeah, yeah you thought I thought you thought I was gonna be upset. I'm, I'm not upset. Yeah, but I don't because look at me. I, I don't. Especially if you're putting effort into doing something. I don't want to reject it. I'm not saying don't do it. It's just not our thing. Yeah, that's your fine. thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Follow me, Spanish underscore or spiritual Spanish. The spiritual new, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, it's my new Instagram. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I have yeah, to block yeah. that one too. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll send it to you so you can just block it. What is the end game in that? Uh, well, I'm monetized. Uh, my Instagram is monetized, so I'm making money off those videos. You are making money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. How many views did you get? Yeah. Well, the one video, the first one I posted, has over like 50 hours of watch time, a bunch of shares. So. Oh, did you say a bunch of? Sh no, no. That was me. I knew it was yeah. you. It rang before the show. You looked at it, and then you didn't shut your yeah. ring around before the show. Jeez. No. You better watch those spiritual Spanish videos. Yeah, man. You got to get your phone apart. So you have two oh. Instagrams now, Spanish. Yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just didn't know if you changed your old one no, to that one. No, 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 okay. no. no. Yeah, so yeah. I got to go follow a different one. You, you don't have to, but. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, just, you just said she's not going to follow it. Okay. Like, oh, oh, right. oh, I don't mind. All right, Carmen, you're on our side? I couldn't get through the video. Oh. I don't really oh. I, listen, I, it's his journey. He can do how and feel how he wants to feel. Right. That's uh, yeah. I'm just not part you, of it. Just do you. Come on, throw the guy a follow. You're his yeah. buddy. You don't have to follow me, Carmen. Do I follow you? His uh, new one? No. No, I don't think so. I don't follow him. No, you do okay. not. I will. I'll follow you. You don't have to. Well, I won't watch your videos, but I'll follow you. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll help you make money if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Slap Wait, a like it? on that video. What's that? Slap a like on that video. Yeah, yeah. Pound it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't say I wouldn't like your videos. That's fine. I just don't yeah. want to associate that garbage with me. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. I, I feel bad. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm being mean to you, but I'm not trying to. Because uh, I try to be mean to you sometimes. This is not one of those cases. That's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't really mind. I think you're just being honest with him. Yeah, but it's hard. Mm. It's hard to be honest when the honesty is... Was the video Sometimes Joe's idea too? Like the way he shot and everything, that's Joe's yeah, or yeah. is it all you? Yeah, no, that was I just got in the hammock. Oh. Right. Mm, interesting. I think that needs to be revoked. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in. You're in the uh -oh. mix. Yeah. You. Yeah. You're basically executive producer. Pretty much. Right. Suspense. What's my cut? You're funding the project. <laughs> I expect a piece off of that. Sure, Would you yeah. say funding the project or funding the terrorist? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you monetize that page. Does, are you making money? Um, like yep. how many followers do you have? Uh, well, that page is new. Yeah. So well, that, what which page, page are you making money on? My my Spanish page, and then I'm gonna have. But a, how much? Can I ask how much money? I don't mean, ask, I don't mean to the dollar. Whoa, a couple okay. hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, that's what I was just curious yeah. to see. What oh, really? I they always tell me, hey, you can do this and you can monetize. I'm like, oh, what am yeah. I doing? You know, whatever. Yeah. It seems to me it has to be a real lot for a real few dollars. Yes, yes. but the yeah. more people that share it is. What helps? Oh, so me sharing it don't share would it. help you find. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm, the more views. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So he's just it's trying based to on use. Views. He's trying to use the. Hey, Carmen used to make some money off her stuff. 
Yeah, but the same. She would I, make the most money out of all of us doing nothing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But again, it, it's so hard to make money. Like, I'm surprised Spanish made a couple hundred because that's all I ever made. Oh, I don't believe he made a couple no. hundred. Yeah, I mean, but that's what he said. So that's what I'm going with. <laughs> so I'm just saying, but like, I would have videos that would reach like over 50,000 right. views and like multiple. And I still only made, like, the most I ever made was like 150 doing and the, it. And what do they do? Is mail you checks or deposit no. in your account? No, no, you have to set up your account through them. Oh, you. Well, anyway, yeah. I'm just saying, like, uh, Carmen, if I put up a picture of you eating a bagel or a picture of you wearing a beautiful dress, it still is the thing that gets the most likes or hits at all at all times. So you should be crushing it right by now. Yeah, but again, like I said, the work that you have to like, you have to post a video every single day. Yeah, y- you have to do. You have to have a niche or niche however you want to say it which mm-hmm. spanish does i really don't i was just kind of out there living life you got two niches and <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get up in that algorithm right and then you have to figure out the time to post do this make the video edit it and for a hundred bucks a month it what you know what i mean like until you reach that hundred thousand followers uh, you're not you're not making money off of that it's you know yeah, it's, yeah I got it's a fun hobby i got you well enjoy yeah. your hobby Thank you. Enjoy your spiritual hobby. I will. Now I feel like you're not interested in helping people out. You're just doing it for the cash. I mean, it's oh. both. Mm. That's not very spiritual. I feel like I'm going to make opposite videos of you. That, that, I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, learn to cut more people out of your life. Ignore the people that bug you the most. You should do at his videos of you just shaking <laughs> sure. your head. And you're like, no, you don't, definitely don't, should. Don't do that. That would be funny. That would help him. <laughs> now I feel like when you say it, you're just trying to make money. Yeah. You? Yeah. I mean, if the money's going to come, the money's going to come. Well, if we can... Is, if, oh, that could be your next video. <laughs> yeah. Thank right? you. I'm going to write that down. Look to the sun. If the money's going to come, the money's going to come. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Don't then, be and then like this. Me <laughs> <laughs> just shaking my head. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. I mean, God, make the most money. Yeah. I've, Go yeah. for it. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for your support. You can, you're welcome for my woods. Oh, yeah, yeah. My cameraman. Yeah, yeah. My equipment. Thank you. And also, uh, really, I really deserve all of this, because if I did not beat you down as much as I did, you would never have to find spiritual <laughs> enlightenment. That is true. You're so, like a silent true. partner in this uh, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. like a majority partner in this case. Well, your you backyard, 10%? your phone. Yeah. <laughs> my backyard, my phone. 20%. Yeah, I'm 20. I would say I'm 70 at this oh, point. Oh, my God. That's too much. Yeah, yeah. How am I going to live? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> How have you survived this long? I don't know. I like the videos. Thanks, Gio. Did you share them? I did not. Okay, then. So, did well. you watch the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was funny when he hopped out of the hammock. I think that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's as far as you got. I'll give it a like. Galvin's throwing of the phone was real. He could have threw it three feet in front of him into a sea of pillows. Where it'd be safe and said he threw it down on the floor <laughs> yeah, hard. It, it, it was like a Rob Gronkowski <laughs> yeah, yeah. touchdown Touch spike. <laughs> oh man. I don't want to see anything that phone has to show me now. <laughs> 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 you've, tainted, you've tainted my phone. Uh, you have the hammock with you? Yeah. It's in my you, car. Were you doing it again today? Uh maybe. Oh, I have an idea. Mm. What's your idea? Involves when a you, flamethrower. When you get in the in the cocoon. I'm going to go up to the second floor and shoot pellets down at you oh, through the thing. Bad. Oh, that'd be great. Why? See if the spirits stop that. They probably wouldn't. Yeah. It's not how it works. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, today is Tuesday, and uh, Dom will not be on the show today, as I previously thought. So you will not get legal advice this week. You could ask me, but I don't yeah. know. Nothing. Cruise Dom too soon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's the deal, Spanner? With Dom, he just, uh, he's got pre-trial today, or trial, I think, <clears throat> so he's going to be at the courthouse. Oh, real lawyer, Dom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawyer, Dom. <laughs> yeah. Um, he does have a show tonight, though. Uh, his show has been switched to Tuesday instead of Wednesday this week because of, I guess, lightning hockey. So he will be on tonight, so if you didn't get, you know, wanted to talk to him today and you can't, you'll be able to talk to him a little bit later on uh, in the day today. Did you watch any of the lightning game last night? I did not. Sorelli had... Three goals. Wow. One, one of them counted. Oh, why? It was unbelievable. So he had a goal where he ran into the goalie, and so they called that back. And then uh, he had a goal that went past the goalie, but the goalie covered it, and you couldn't tell whether it went past smart. the line or not. Uh, yeah, really smart of the other player on the uh, Red Wings was he came up behind and put his stick there, but didn't like lift his thing. Whatever, right. So you couldn't tell. 
And so he had two goals called back and you're like, what is going on? Not even 10 seconds after the second goal was called back. He got it, went down, it just blasted. And he was like, is that one in? That yeah, one's in. He figured it out. Uh, but the Lightning still wound up losing to the Red Wings oh, really? last night. Yeah, yeah, it was rough. Yeah, I, uh, I can't, I don't know. I go to bed pretty early these days. and uh, That game started at 7 at least. So. For some reason, I'm kind of turned off the Lightning this year. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. They did, uh, you know, I thought having the Lightning on the station would be a great, a better relationship with them. And we do, I mean, we don't do anything with them. They don't include us in anything. And I'm like, whatever i'm kind of done mm. it's weird i let business stuff uh caught like i hated the fact that those games were in, were on bally sports and i didn't get bally sports so you know half of the people didn't get to watch the games then uh by the time i figured it out and i was able to watch it i'm kind of like I don't know, i'm just a little over it now and then they do stupid stuff so uh cooper had his um his charity thing a couple weeks ago none of us knew about it we, charlie belcher i think was a host of mm. it i mean and those kind of things that make me just like, you know what? I don't want to have anything to do with them either. So and don't get me wrong, not the hockey game itself. Like I still love the team and I still want them to win and all that stuff, but my enjoyment level seems to have gone down a little yeah. bit. Uh, all right. Uh, we got a good show today. I, I have a story here that I, I should probably wait until later to talk about, but I can't help it. There is a guy, I think you sent this to me, who has been living on a cruise ship for 23 years. Crazy. Could you do it? No. But he's living on a nice one, like Voyager of the Seas, like one of the one of the macked out ones. Right. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I you know, I, your port, you go to port and you do different stuff and you're he, traveling around. And, he's a financial advisor. Yeah. And he or a financial investor. And he can he has free internet because he's of how many times he's been on the boat. Right. And um he does his work from the ship and he is a scuba diver. So he goes off he he loves living on the boat. And they call him, his name is Mario. They call him Super Mario because he's been on so many of these friends with all the crew. I don't know. I, I kind of think that I would enjoy it if I was if I was single or if my wife liked to do that too, you know, so that you're not alone. Yeah. That's the only thing I feel like his only friends and his only people are the cruise people. So he has no one really like to hang out with and talk to because they keep recycling. You know by, what I mean? by the last day of the cruise, I'm like, I got to get off this boat. <laughs> like, but we're also like spring breaking it. Right. We're going hard. He's right. not like, he's just living his life. He's that working. Is, That's true. Yeah, yeah, he probably doesn't get the drink package for every <laughs> cruise that he's on. Three days is enough for me, man. I'm like, I got to get off the boat. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of, I think I kind of like it. Like, I've been on some, some of their top tier ships. Yeah. And uh, they got really nice. They have really nice amenities. You did the back to back cruise. So you were like, that was like almost a week, wasn't that, it? That was awesome. Yeah. 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 I did which, our cruise and I jumped off and went on another, that same day that we got <laughs> off, I got on another cruise. Which there was a story about an older couple, and that's what they did. They lived on cruise ships, but they would get off, get on another one. They booked like 23 back to back to back yeah. because it was cheaper than living in an old, like a living facility. Last year, I talked to a woman at the bar, and she was she does that. She just hops from one port to the other. Damn. Yeah, really? well, a lot of people will go, and they do the standby where they can get a cheap ticket. Yeah. You know, they'll go down there, they're packed, they're ready to go, and if they can get on, they get on. If they don't, they don't because they live here, you know, so it's like no big deal. But if you get on, you can get on for cheap. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know. This guy, this guy, it seems like he's really happy. The only I was trying to think when I was reading the story this morning is what the downsides are. And yeah, because the, the way you said it, I immediately thought, well, that guy's stuck on there, but he's not. It's like if you lived in a house, you can go visit people and do whatever you want. You don't have to be on there. Right. You know what I mean? So then he goes back and he goes to the cruise ship. I don't know. He goes off 15 days a year. He takes he takes off fifteen days a year for to go on land, I guess, to see people or whatever, and then the rest of the time he lives on the cruise. And the only time he's missed in the last twenty three years has been uh, the um, pandemic, yeah. where he was off for fifteen months. He, can I t do you want to guess the worst part of it was the only downside for him? Uh, trying to bang <laughs> no, sea know. legs, sea legs. Oh. He gets off. He's got land legs. When he gets off on land, he said he can't walk in a straight line for a while because he's so used oh, yeah. to being on the on yeah, the ship. I'm sure. Yeah, isn't that crazy? 
<laughs> that, that sounds miserable. That would suck. Yeah. Plus, how is he not 500 pounds? I saw a picture of the guy. Right. Like, I would be so fat. <laughs> but you wouldn't because after the first month, you'd be like, I'm good. I don't need escargot again. Oh, you I don't know, need Lord. four chocolate cakes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't get three ice creams oh, at dinner, so Gio. Oh, I'm so, I hope the strawberry ice cream is oh, there. Too. Uh, yeah. that's, I've been thinking about that all week, and I didn't want to say anything to anybody, <laughs> but I really hope it's there. <laughs> but that's the thing. I mean, the guy, after a while, you're like, eh, I'm good. You don't say bring me every appetizer right <laughs> each it's night. not a it's not a treat to him he probably doesn't even go to dinner every yeah kill the sandwich sent to his room he's like i'm good bring me two steaks and all four appetizers <laughs> what is not on the boat that you he's got a gym he's got on his boat he's got the the park yeah because they have that central park area clubs restaurants they do activities. They have like like even for our boat, we got like yoga in the morning, pickleball. Right. Yeah. There's that what was it? Dodgeball that one guy was really <laughs> excited about. Yeah. How dodgeball? many how many chicks is he banging, you think, that are just, you know He's kinda older though. Like kinda well, at the Yeah, age who age. goes on cruises? Old ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Old ladies yeah. don't want to bang. Oh Listen, the old too. woman I talked to last year who had gone from boat to boat, she was definitely hitting on me. Yeah, she was Wiggy like seventy. Smalls. Yeah, Wiggy yeah. Smalls. Yeah, what I'm saying is, old women don't want to bang old dudes. That's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like old women are Spanish can bang old women on the cruise. Well, how how old was this guy? Probably in the seventies, mm. like mid seventies, seventy four or so. H- held up, clean. No, I mean clean, Look- nice looking, but he's not like a handsome guy by any means. He's not ugly. He yeah, just but- looks like a nice old man. Right, but when you're on a boat and you don't have too many options, yeah. and yeah. you're and you're like, I'm never going to see this dude again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got one of the nicer rooms on the ship. I don't know, man. That's the other thing I gotta you know wonder is what kind of room does he have. And if you're walking around and everyone's like, "Hey, Super Mario," yeah. and you're like kind of a cool guy on the ship, and he knows right. all, every, every crew. Yeah. All the staff knows you. Right. You know what's a pain in the ass though? Does he have to get off and get on? You know what I mean? Not, I mean like, oh, yeah. Because uh, of customs and stuff, or do they make a special provision for him? He has to get off and get on, I'm sure. But he oh, probably. That's such a pain in the ass, though. But I, bet he get, no, but I bet he gets to leave his stuff. You know what I mean? Like, just him personally has to, like, go yeah. check in and then get back on. But I bet they do, like, hold his, yeah. um, his bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I was him, I would just try and get a job on the ship. He doesn't, yeah. he's he got doesn't a need job. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he has he's, a better job. He's, doing, he's on his laptop I guess making that's financial true. investments. And if he worked on the ship, then he would have to stay in those oh, yeah. uh, rooms. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear so. a lot of cool stuff goes on down there. <laughs> like what? I don't know. I saw, <laughs> They're all banging, all the crew members. <laughs> I saw Titanic. It's like the Olympics. Yeah. They got to put coal in the in the, yeah. in the the furnace to keep the ship moving. No. <laughs> there was, I saw a TikTok reel. It was like life on a, a ship as a crew member. And they're all, I saw that. There's a bar down there. and they're all, But you know, did you see the rooms? Very small. Like four people in a in a tiny little bunk house. in a little bunk house, yeah. yeah. Like you, you're lucky if you're you're a little Asian, you're okay. But if you're one of those big Yugoslavian guys and you get on that thing, and they're like yeah. put you in a room with three little Asians. <laughs> That's pretty rough. I cannot, I cannot do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm way too claustrophobic. Yeah, yeah. I hope my room this time is giant because I'm by myself. Because the last cruise I went on was with Amanda, and we had that smaller room together. Which was fine until we wanted to pass each other in the hall. Well, once you guys have been in the Burt Suite, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. there's no it's way hard to go back. Geo. Come yeah. back from that. That thing was amazing. <laughs> I mean, I saw the video. The guy, I'm not sure the video doesn't even do it justice. We came out of the room and the guy goes, oh, you guys came out. And we were like, yeah, if you were in that room, you wouldn't go out. You're sitting in the hallway <laughs> was watching our room. Yeah. If you could see what uh, what it's like in that room. It was, yeah, it was pretty insane. I loved when we got off the elevator. The guy was like, you guys aren't supposed yeah. to be here. And we're like, move over, jag off. <laughs> <laughs> That's our room right there. I have to call Bert. Why? Because uh, I'm going out to L.A. Uh, in May, and it's the week that that Netflix thing is out there. And I think I may want to go to his show because um, the night that his show is going on, my wife and son are going to a different show. So I figure I might want to go check that out. That'll be cool. Yeah, I think so. I think it'd be cool. Well, isn't Bert doing the uh, Tom Brady roast? Is he on that? With well, that won't be that night. But oh. he probably. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. gonna be cool. That will be cool. Now, I wonder if Tom Brady can handle that stuff. I think so. I don't know. You get up there and you make a bunch of your wife left you for your jujitsu trainer jokes. Yeah. That's gonna get. <laughs> he seems sensitive. Yeah, Tom Brady has. Uh, like he 
shuts those down. You know what I mean? I don't know. Before you got, you saw Matt, he got a Geo when he was looking at his kid. That no, no, no. But I'm saying, like, he goes, okay, I'll do this, but you can't say this. You can't oh, say this. Right, I don't maybe. think they're going to do that. Yeah, I bet they do. I don't. I mean, you saw that, that roast of Trump. They just went after everything. Right, but he doesn't shut stuff like that down. He's yeah, like, but I think. It. Bring it to I, I don't know. I think in order to be on the roast, everything's got to be fair game. You know? Yeah, it should be, but it's not going to be. I, I guarantee Brady. it's going to be a little bunch of powder puff stuff. He's handsome. Oh, I really got him on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's it's Netflix. It's like yeah. it's real comedians. He does. See, he talks a lot of crap a lot of times. You see like, yeah. video clips of him. Like he's known as like an S talker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't we'll know. Say. I just hope I've- it's funny. I bet they there's like one mention of it. I bet it's you- not about his wife. It's just about jujitsu or something along those lines. You know what I mean? Where they like brush over it. I bet the kids are off limits. The yeah. I mean, that, that should be that way. Yeah. You know? I mean, he's well, going no, on a radio show because the, yeah. kid, the yeah. kid kissing thing has got to be. I mean, that's nope. one of the I funny parts. That, if there's anything he would say, you can't it'd be his kids. I bet. Yeah, but yeah. I bet you you could say, "Tom, you're so pretty. I'd kiss you on the mouth." You know, like yeah. make a reference to it or something. I think Gal is right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the more I think about it, I'm like, ah. Uh, it better be funny. That's all I care about. It so. probably won't be. Hey, what was your favorite April Fool's joke you fell for yesterday? Uh, nothing. What? You didn't get this cop thing get you with the radar? You were uh, doing 107 walking? No, and there's a uh, Steelers Instagram, not the official Steelers one, but like Steelers Depot that I follow, and they're like, uh, they traded to get Juju Smith-Schuster oh, back. And I go, uh, stop uh, it. Yeah, I saw J.J. Watt <laughs> sign with the Buccaneers. Uh, no more subs at Subway or at uh, Publix. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. 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 Pub sub. No more pub sub. <laughs> I saw one where it says that guy Gary from the commercial comes out as gay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, poor Gary. Uh, you, people Gary. actually fall for this stuff, though. Yeah. Well, you, I, listen, you see in the comments, like, what? This can't yeah. be real. But for, look, if you see one that's like um, Publix no longer serving subs, you go, what? Oh, you know, like for a second, you go, what? Yeah. No, yeah. And you got to think, like, we see it in our prep because we're, like, all over the news. If you're just someone who's living your life, not paying attention, who never knows what day it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, because, like, Oh, there's a lot of people that fall for it. Right. Oh, yeah. And those sh- <laughs> people should be exterminated. No. <laughs> you can see in the comment. They would come. Is this real? <laughs> no, you idiot. Right. Can I tell but- you, the people that send us reels, we complain about it all the time. We've already seen the reels. Stop sending them. But they still send them anyway. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I know they're just trying to show us something funny, but I've come up with a group of people that I absolutely hate that listen to the show. Uh, like I always say, I'm not racist. I don't care. About I hate teenagers. That's it. But the group of people that I hate on Instagram are the people that expect me to recap the show for them. <laughs> no, this yeah. one guy, I haven't been able to listen. What happened with Spanish? And then I just ignore it. And he's like, I asked you a question. I'm like, hey, I don't work for you. Go listen to the replay. What do you want from me? So can I give you a little insight on what you do with those? Yeah. First off, there's so many people I've restricted. Uh, If you sent me a reel or sent me, I've seen every drum and every dog video that's out there. So what I do now is I look at their thing. I open it and then I go back and I click it so it's not open and then i delete it uh-huh. so they so it's left on you never saw it all right so they don't know whether you ever saw it and then they can't then message I, you again and then i restrict them <laughs> <laughs> there is a video i saw from the 60s it's black and white it's shot from over from the top and it's led zeppelin and it's robert plant and he's singing and he goes let me introduce led zeppelin to you yeah and i never saw that before yeah. and i was I like i wonder if galvin's ever seen this and then i went of course, Galvin yes. has seen this. Yes. I'm yeah. not sending it to him. I actually put that on my story before. I, that's the thing. Yeah. I was like, I'm not. I'm not the only. If I send you anything now, it's because I want you to go. Why did you send this to me? So I go. Oh, because I had a question about this. Right, right. That's it. Other than that, I'm not sending anything anymore. I sent one to Geo yesterday that I was. That was good. I I didn't know, but I was like, if I haven't seen, the, if I've seen something multiple times, if what I've seen it. it was it about Limp Bizkit? Yeah. Yes. Well, so, th- but that's why. But I was like, I don't know. But this seems really new because I feel like I would have seen it. And if I see something two to three times, then I know everyone's seen it. But it was the first time that it came in my, up in my feed. Carmen did get it to me first, but it was said yeah. like four <laughs> times after that. <laughs> Much like uh, the Limp Brisket, I yeah. have seen that. You still want it that more? You want I that? still yeah. get that at least uh, t- once or twice a day, every single day. Limp but- Brisket. 
But no. mine was uh, Gen Z yeah. versus Limp Biscuit. So Gen Zers listened to Limp Biscuit for the first time. Right. And they, all in the beginning, they're like, okay, yeah, I like this. This is good. Head bobbing and everything. Yeah. And then he starts singing. And they're like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets real heavy, like, this is they're, horrible. Like, what? they're like, what is he saying? <laughs> I tried to play Beastie Boys for my son one time, and he was like, they just sound so white. I go, it's because yeah. they are. <laughs> the kid's like, he's like, where am I sticking the cookie? Yeah. My yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Get the show moving this morning. We had a bunch of stuff to give away. We'll do that with Sporkle next on 1025 The Bone. I tried something yesterday and failed. I failed you. What, what happened? So I got, an, I got a message from YouTube okay. that they can now, you can now go live on YouTube mm-hmm. vertically, like on the phone. Right. I was like, all right, I'll try that. Did you? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Gal? He's just, yes, right. Yeah. Like, he's on top of this. YouTube <laughs> has, <laughs> has been consulting with Joe. Yeah. He's like, yeah. yes, yes, yes we, got that, mm-hmm. we got that pushed through. Yeah. <laughs> I took care of it, Michael. Mm-hmm. So I, at about uh, <laughs> 7 o'clock last night, I went live vertically on YouTube and waited there for one minute, and not one person came in the room. Oh. Really? I don't know how they alert everybody. Like, if they tell people, like, I've never experienced it before. So I didn't, I don't like, I don't know how people know that I'm live. Like when I go live, I, I have a, the Mike Calta show Instagram account. And then I have my Mike Calta personal one that you guys don't really need to be on because it's mostly pictures of my kids. Um, so when I go live on the Mike Calta show, it alerts my other account that I, Mike Calta is now live because I follow myself. So uh, I know that it's working. I don't know with YouTube that it alerted anybody. Well, it's supposed to let everyone know when you go live if they're subscribed. Well, they did not well, care. I think you have to click the little bell to be notified. Right. Mm. Oh. And it's just like your notification. Yeah. Like specific, like individual. You got to opt into that, though. Yeah. If you subscribe. I'm going to try and do it during the break here and see if maybe I did it wrong the first Joe, time. Joe, why didn't you tell him that? Uh, I just did. Mm-hmm. He channeled it through Geo. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's what Joe told me outside. He goes, hey, when Mike asked yeah. me, uh-huh. make uh-huh. sure you. That's what you guys are talking about say during the break. This exactly this way. <laughs> Give him the correct information. <laughs> now I'm dying to talk to you about the other stuff. No. <laughs> I'll tell you about it in the break. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's Joseph. good. It's Joseph. good. Joseph. Uh, it's good stuff. Do you want me to beat anybody up for you? No, I don't think that'll be necessary. Okay. Oh, yeah. You yeah, say, uh, yeah, yeah. But definitely. Oh, man. All right, mm. all right, all right. We'll get to that. That's not very uh, spiritual Spanish. Spiritual have, doesn't mean you got to be a pacifist. Yeah, yeah that's Dalton. Get up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Dalton was spiritual. Yeah. It was be nice. Philosophy. Be nice. nice. Be nice. Till when? Yeah. Till it's time not to. Yeah. Carmen, what are we giving away today? All right, today we're going to give away tickets for Corn, Stone Temple Pilots with Live, XFC 50, Alabama, and Bush Gardens. Spanish, do you have the year to date totals? Uh, yes, I do, year Michael. To, year to date totals. Total wins. I didn't know what I said, year to date yodels. Uh, right now, Geo is in fourth place with four wins for the year. I am in third with six wins for the year. Galvin is in second with 22 wins for the year. And Michael, you are in the lead with 30 wins for the year. Now, I have a question. Yes. Your wins? Did yes. you count Friday show? Did you win when you played with Oliveira and all those guys? Yes. That doesn't count. Smoked. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. It definitely you, does. First of all, the game was not played with the regular group, and uh, they shouldn't even been allowed. Hey, look there, at Frankie's shopping. <laughs> you, they shouldn't have even been allowed to uh, play my game. Well, they uh, well because we were sitting in for obviously for this show. First so. of all, you weren't even supposed to be on that show. Um, Mike Olivero was filling in. Right. You decided to get up and sit in with him. Yes. Right. So technically, you're not even supposed to be on the show. Well, okay. Yeah. So. I, I vote. I vote that win comes off. I, no way. I also vote yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's not our show. Like, it, whenever you know, if Mike's out, it's me, you, and Geo still playing. You, you were know the only I mean? person. From yeah, the you were the show only one there, and it wasn't even the show. It was Mike Olivero oh, filling show. in. Quite frankly, you were playing with three idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll take it off my win column. Thank you. So, what are the year totals, Spanish? Mm. Uh, you are in last with four <laughs> wins for the year. I am still in third with five wins for the year. And uh, Galvin is 22 and Mike has 30. Okay, right. now that seems better. I like it. Uh, Carmen, let's yes. play a little Sporkle. <laughs> Carmen is the keeper of Sporkle. Pap Pap is your judge, scorekeeper, and videographer. <laughs> Carmen, what are we playing today? 
All right, today we are going to play. I'm a videographer for Shannon. <laughs> Why can't I speak English today? I don't know. <laughs> it's like my uh, tongue is numb. <laughs> today we are playing Famous Johns. Can you name the Famous Johns when given a hint? Very simple. Okay. Yes. And yes. Jeopardy rule. Just need the last name. Senator from Arizona. Ah, McCain. McCain. Mike. SNL actor who played Belushi. Belushi, Mike Kelta. Assassinated Abraham Lincoln. Damn it. Ooh, Spanish. (laughs) PGA Tour golfer who is known for his drinking, Uh. Mike Kelta. Former astronaut who became Glenn. Mike. Singer songwriter. Denver. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Second president of the United Adams. States, Mike Kelta, played Dan Connor on Roseanne. Good, good, good. 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 Spanish. And Pap Pap, we're halfway there. Galvin is not on the board. Not yet. He has zero. Gio has one. Span is doubling that. Michael is your leader right now. He's winning with five. All right, coming back right now. All right, we are playing Famous Johns. Here we go. Actor who starred in Say anything Cheers and <laughs> Galvin. That's right. <laughs> Large flamboyant signature is located. Hancock. Hancock. Do you know how much spit came out of Cusack? <laughs> <laughs> Spanish got that one. 35th president of the United States. Assess. Kennedy. Oh. Galvin. <laughs> <laughs> Plays Jim on the U.S. version of The Office. Krasinski. Mike Kelta. Author of Grapes of Wrath, Mike Kelta. Musician known for his song, Body is a Wonderland, Mike Kelta. And Pap Pap, we are on the last three. Gio's on the board with one, Galvin with two, Spanish with three, and Michael is your leader right now. He's winning with eight. Mm. All right, Famous John's last three. Here we go. NFL football announcer who Man. pop Yes, uh Galvin. Member of the Beatles who was Lennon. married Mike Kelta. Lennon, no. Oh. <laughs> and your last one. Grammy Award winner who sings Ordinary People and Used Legend. to Love You. Oh. Spanish. Well, like this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your final score, Gio with single solitary point, Galvin with three, Spanish with four, and Michael is your triumphant champion today. He won with nine. Two in a row, two in a row. It's not two in a row. Spanish won on Friday. (laughs) Today is is Tuesday. Good morning. Who is this? (sighs) Maria. Who? Maria. Hi, Maria. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. You're the winner for today. Woo! <laughs> hold on. Hold on, pumpkin. Carmen will get you during the break and we'll hook you up with a prize. She gave a woohoo. I thought she was going to be able. Oh, thanks. It's Maria. Thanks. Thanks. Galvin? Yeah. What do we have coming up in news? Uh, coming up in news today, no tip for that. End of an era, and that didn't work out. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go to break so I can find out what Joe has to tell me because oh. I'm so excited to hear this. <laughs> but, <laughs> is it about YouTube? No. No. Uh, no. He doesn't know anything Come about on. YouTube. <laughs> Joe's not a YouTube expert. Oh. Oh. But this is not going to be on the air. No. Hmm. Hold on. I'm going to go live on YouTube real quick. I'll tell you, see Carmen. It works. Yeah. No, it's not made for kids. Uh oh. Well, we are streaming to YouTube live right now. As well. You can't go double live, can you? Double live. Oh, man. I'm, Inside I'm, live. I'm, oh, I don't know. Can we? Oh, yeah. Find out. Yeah. There's only oh, one boy. way to find out. Come on, YouTube. Tell us what we can do. Yeah. All right. I'm on it. I'm streaming oh. live right now. Uh, 20. I'm four seconds in. Nobody's watching. Oh, man. So they can leave the show live stream to what? go to this live stream? Well, I don't want them to leave anything. I'm just wanting to see if, if one person pops in, I'll be happy because that means <laughs> that they got alerted. I think you got to click the bell. There's no bell here. I, There's a bell. Yeah, There's a I don't, bell. So where, where are you live on right now? What are you live on? Me? Yes. YouTube. But what 
channel or what is the thing? The, through the mic out, the show. All right, but is there a bunch of people that are following that and have notifications like whenever yes. you pop on? Yes. Huh. I follow you. I gotta go. I do have to go check my notifications, though. That may be right, that where the, I'm on the page. I right just now. I just jumped off. I have to. Try, I want to see if there's a bell. There's a bell. I don't. There's no bell on my thing. <laughs> I got no bell. I would imagine if I follow him and get notified whenever he's on. See what, where subscribed is. See, there's a little bell there. You got to click that to notify uh, on the actual page. All right. Hold yeah. on. Right. Hold nice. on. Go to my channel. Is that the well, we're live right now? Is that the note that Joe gave you? Yes. Yeah, just to right. make sure <laughs> when Mike says there's no bell, right. show him where the bell's at. <laughs> right. So let's see. You're usually right. But, uh, <laughs> also, probably go, go click the bell. Click Whatever. The bell. We'll figure it out at some point. Let's take a break. Come right back. Quick break, and we got news next on 102.5 The Bone. What do you have to do? Uh, let's compare notes because I have uh, a lot of things to do too. So today I um, I came in early and I put in day two. I didn't. I put in day two of best of. So after I'm going to put in day three. So best of will be like completely in there and now, done. Let me remind everybody: uh, not on Thursday, but on Friday and Monday there will be a uh, podcast that we record live from the cruise. That will be new. So from seven to eight on Friday, and from seven to eight on Monday, you will get a new hour of material that we recorded live on the cruise for you guys right and then um so then after so i got to stay a little late for that and then after that i have to go straight to sam's club because we ran out of dog food and i make our dogs food oh, now Lord. so i have to go straight to sam's to do that which is like just you know timely and stuff and then just all the little knickknacks that you always forget right at the end sunscreen sunscreen for your face you know stuff like that i gotta get my ears waxed that's my biggest problem. Okay. Yeah, I put my hand up on my head the other day, and I thought there was a baby growing out of the side of my ears. <laughs> That's a bitch like most girls don't have to deal with, not at least in the ears when they get older. Yeah. But uh, I want to get mine lasered off. Yeah, your ears? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the ears completely Wait, off. No. Let's get rid of them, man. That's not good. There are people that do that. Bobby I know, did. it's weird. Bobby, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> your ears completely off. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. there's those lizard. But I don't understand how that works. How does somebody allow that to happen where you go, I want to be a lizard, and there's a doctor that goes, yeah, I'll make you a lizard. No yeah. problem. You know he's, what I mean? a, like, he's not there to judge. Yeah. It's well, his job just to do what he's hired to do. I they, went to school for 10 years for this. <laughs> they get the face implants like in their eyes yeah. and the stomps yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And Teeth Ugh. filed down. No way. That does nothing for me when I see a pretty girl and she's got a ball bearing in the side um, of her i don't mean a piercing i mean that thing that they stick dermal. in the dermal and yeah. that's so dumb to me yeah but also you, i'm old now. you know what i dislike more than anything is the bull ring the nose yeah, yeah. Thing. yeah. that grosses me out yeah. too yeah some yeah. girls can pull it off no but some girls, i have never no? seen one no i've I never think, seen or one. like the marilyn the one like above the lip oh yeah like yeah, that. that's yeah. gross too yeah. i don't like that i just honestly i am just not a big uh face piercer my wife has her nose pierced, and I watched her get it done, and it looked like it was the most painful thing in the world, although she said it wasn't, and I love her little nose ring. My son has his nose pierced. I, I can't. I scratch my nose. I cry for an hour. That's not that bad. I'm not doing it. I, I just, just never think boogers all the time. Yeah. I, ha I had my <laughs> nose pierced, and it was uh, bad because mine, like, you know, got infected, and then I think one night whenever I was sleeping, it caught on the blanket and ripped oh, it. Yeah. yeah, it was brutal. Woo! Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, all right, I think I'm done with that. <laughs> Cute little nose piercing I like. I don't like when you, when you stick things in your chin or yeah. in between your forehead or whatever. I don't know. It's gross. <laughs> grosses me out. Uh, Carmen, when does Barb get into town? So that's, and that's part of the other stuff I have to do. Barb gets in Wednesday night. She doesn't Wednesday fly. Oh. <laughs> she's she's got to take a horse no. to, the, to the train station. <laughs> she's flying. Uh, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I'm like, Galvin, I want to be fresh for yep. the cruise. Yep. See, I'm fresh for the cruise, but I have to plan a week ahead. I have to cut it short and then let it grow out a little bit for the <laughs> yeah. cruise. Right. No, I want mine done like right before. And then um, also, 
Chad is giving me a tan. So we were supposed to do that what yesterday. What does he do? Just hug you really hard? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. No, we got the mitt and the stuff at home where he just like rubs me down. You're going to yeah. look ridiculous. Oh, I hope no, I've been, uh, I've been doing this. Uh-huh. I've been doing it all year long. <laughs> yeah, Chad's been writing his name in your back the whole time. You, know? <laughs> you have no idea. No. Uh, this bitch be mine. <laughs> it looks really good. And I mean, honestly, for the price of the thing that I got, like I did my research and everything like that. And it just gives you that little extra glow. Mm. I just don't know if it's going to stay on in the salt water. Mm. Carmen, I really wish you would have a baby. (laughs) What? I'm so glad I never had a baby. (laughs) I'm very happy. I wish you had a baby so I could babysit it. Yeah, no, thank you. That's a Spanish deal. He wants a child. Mm. I do not. So your next baby's going to come from him. Yeah. Even JoJo's baby's not really a baby anymore. I saw a picture of her from Easter, and she looks like a like a little kid. Now. Oh my god! <laughs> my daughter looks like she's a seventeen year old. Mm. JoJo's daughter looks like she's a ten year old. I know. The other day, you posted a picture of Juliana, and she had a dress, and I was like, "Oh, cute dress! Where'd you get it? Right. I want one." Yeah, I was yeah. like, and then I was like, "That's weird. I don't think we should be wearing the same clothes." Are oh. you gonna be like Joe in Spanish and raid the closet? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to. Do Carmen, that. it's funny you say about cute dress. I saw a thing where a uh, girl posted, and she goes, "It's." hard being a lesbian because i hit on girls and they just think i'm being nice she goes i could be like uh hey your ass looks great in those jeans i want to wear it like hat and she'd be like thanks i got them at this store yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> they're american eagle she's like yeah, yeah. that's not what i want to know if you're a lipstick lesbian i'm sure that's hard yeah mm-hmm. oh no i am uh juliana and, and amanda got in their first like fight last night oh, like, oh man. man and it was not pleasant to be around of course and we know what it's about oh yeah yeah, yeah. juliana came in the room and she's like oh and amanda goes did you finish your reading and she's like i read for 15 minutes she's like you were supposed to read for a half hour and and they were yelling back and forth at each other and juliana walked away and i went like wow and then everybody yelled at me Uh, (laughs) that's how how it's always gonna end it's your fault i was saying goodnight to juliana (laughs) and amanda jumped in and i go couldn't you wait till i was done with the thing well you don't have to and then my daughter was saying i i'm like I can't win. I oh, cannot win in this house. See what reading gets you Spanish? Yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you just wait. Were you saying that? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say just wait till you're in the middle of a fight. Till mm-hmm. you like she comes to you. Like she went to Amanda, asked her for something. Amanda said no. Then she comes to you. You say yes. Oh. And then- no, no, no. You don't think that happens now? I get right. The, but when it's the, something real. Oh, when she comes in, she goes, Michael, listen to me. I know <laughs> for sure that I'm being duped. I'm being used for something. <laughs> Joey was a goddamn breeze. That kid's going away to uh, college and didn't give me one problem the entire time. He, he graduates in like a month and didn't give me one problem in four years. Juliana is already gearing up to give me heart failure. Yeah. Aww. She is just not a problem, but she's just I'm just not going to be able to deal with My kids high fight stuff. all the time. With each other? All, yeah. But they're all closer the in age. They're, yeah, they're yeah. only like a year or two apart. Yeah, my time. kids don't even, they see each other in passing. And when they do see each other, they hug. That's how. That's, that's nice. how no, opposite yeah. they are. Yeah. How it's, do you handle the first date with Juliana? Because no. you had to go through it with Joey, and I'm sure it was just like, okay, go. But yeah, Joey, I didn't really have to do it. Joey does his own thing. You know what I mean? I it wasn't like he, like you didn't I, know I, he was going on his first. No, date? No, but it wasn't like it wasn't like <laughs> I picked him up. We went and picked the girl up, and I dropped him off at the movies. That never happened. You know, okay. Joey just does his own thing. Uh, with Juliana, I'm not as I'm not as tight as people think that i probably am she's a girl she's gonna do girl stuff i accept it as i just want her to be safe and mm-hmm. and careful that's all she i just care can't about. go on spring break like joe no 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 but she's the one that i like so i want her to have a better chance at life like yeah. if she came to me and she was like i want to get that bull nose uh, piercing i'd have to try to talk her out of that <laughs> i'd i'd put my foot down and go not until you're 18 mm-hmm. and i'll sue any piercer that tries to do it before that. <laughs> what if she says, I want to go see Lil Boozy down in Ybor on yeah, Thursday you know, night? Ybor? <laughs> she doesn't even know what Ybor is. She's never... She will not see anybody... We have backstage passes. Yeah. No. no. no, no. I, she will not go see any concert that starts with Lil. I think of the, like, the scene of the scene in Almost Famous where the big sister leaves the little all oh, the yeah, records yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So Joey, when he leaves, is going to leave all his rap albums for no Juliana. <laughs> Listen to these. They'll Listen set you free. Yeah. Juliana likes Taylor Swift, and that's all she knows. And that's yeah. all we need to know right and now. And that's what she knows now. That's all right. she's going to know forever. <laughs> that ain't going to be cool in like two years. No, 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 no. You better stop this, Gio. Yes. Oh, man. You got girls. I you do. Know. I do. It's Look, I, at least I was very honest. I let Juliana know now. 
like when Joey does something, oh, this is pretty fun for him, but you will never, you'll never be able to do this. <laughs> and my, my answer was, uh, uh, you know, not fair, but it was truthful because I love you more. Mm -hmm. Just, I want better things for you than I do uh, it's for It's because she's a girl. Just wait till you say you are not wearing that out of the house. Oh. That's not my department. <laughs> yeah. That's Amanda's department. Uh, well, it's, it's, sometimes I have to like tell my wife, like, hey, you need to say something. Here's the thing. My wife is very classy. She, you do not see my wife slutting it up out of the house unless she's going to some sort of ball gown kind of thing where her boobs are hanging out of her dress. You never see her dressing like that. So Juliana doesn't see it. I don't see her wanting to do it all the time. It's the schools, man. The she schools. doesn't see her see mom it. doing it. Yeah. Her friends are going to do it. Exactly. My, yeah. friend, wait, my they, friends with us. Yep. Right. And then they wear certain things out of the house and bring other yep. stuff to yeah. change into. Yeah. I saw my wife and I went out and grabbed something to eat the other day. And a uh, couple came in with their daughter. And their daughter was probably 19 or 20 or something with short, 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 shorts on that her ass was sticking out of. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, even 19 or 20, I'd be like, hey, come on. What yeah. are we doing here? Bring yeah. up your dad. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I'll embarrass her. I'll wait till we're out in the restaurant and she stands up and I go, everybody's here, but oh, you can see your butt oh, You know, God. I'll get her. Yeah. I'll make her never oh, want to dress like that. Attention to the butthole. Never oh, want to. She right. listen to me. I will make it very bad place to live. <laughs> mom is cool now, but mom's not going to be cool in like two years. Mm. Yeah. No, I get it. I'm just saying, like you, like I don't drink a lot. I don't drink at home. I don't do any of that stuff because nobody in my house ever did. My father doesn't drink. My mother never drank at I'll come home. over and drink with you. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> Michael, that's the best drinking at home. I, I know. <laughs> like, if you're going to do it, do it here. Yeah. The other day, I had, I was, uh, uh, I don't know what I was doing, but I, there was a bottle of wine, and it was open, and I poured a glass of wine, and you would think that I set a fire in the living room. Are you drinking wine? Is that wine? <laughs> wine? I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is why I don't drink. Everybody's yeah. got to ask me about it. Even the kids are like, you drinking wine? I'm like, oh. That's God. why I hide when I drink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they wine? know what yeah. you're doing. No, ju a judgment-free zone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, time to check in with Galvin. He's got today's news. And now, news with Galvin on the Mike Calter Show. What do we have in news today, Great Galvini? Uh, today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. If you're down with the pickleball, everybody loves the pickleball. Pelt Ooh. has everything you need right there. What? No, I, I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, Ooh, pickleball. Oh, yeah. you still but, haven't played yet. Well, no, but can I tell you, can I interrupt your commercial yeah, for a second? Yeah. This is a, it's an honest moment. Galvin has uh, indirectly taken shots at me in his Pelts commercial <laughs> because I ordered a pair of shoes online. Yes. And uh, I ordered a size 12 men and I got a size 10 women. Mm -hmm. Then I um, reordered it and got a size 10 men instead of oh, a size 12 men. You're right. So then I realized, I know you're not going to believe this, but it was my fault. I was hitting the wrong <laughs> button. Oh. Yeah. So then I ordered a new pair and I realized the 10 was so small. Surely I must need a 13. And then I finally got my pair of UFOs size 13 wearing them now. About an inch too big. I'm a size yeah, 12. So yeah. had I gone into pelts, I said, can I try those on? I would have the perfect pair of shoes, would have left with them that day, and I would have told him Calvin said. Yeah, exactly. Well, and also, you can get your foot digitally measured right there in pelts, and they'll send you all the information, and they'll be able to tell you the pelts fit experts will say, hey, dumb dumb, you're yep. not a 13, you're yep. a 12, yep. and these are the ones you need, but those UFOs are nice, I right? learned a lesson, though. They, they have the, it would yeah. be nicer if they fit <laughs> my feet. <laughs> they have the UFOs recovery uh, uh, sandals there. They also have all the stuff you need for pickleball, so uh, whether you're looking for Skechers, New Balance, K-Swiss, Asics, and not just pickleball, they have the uh, other court shoes, they have athletic shoes, walking shoes, running shoes, dress shoes, whatever you need. They have them right there in Pelt, and they have six locations throughout Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. Whenever you stop in there, make sure you tell them Galvin sent you. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Uh, former President Donald Trump has posted a $175 million bond as he appeals the judgment against him in the New York civil fraud case brought by State Attorney General Letitia James. Uh, Trump's bond pauses any action that James could take against Trump's properties in response to a judgment until at least September when the uh, state appeals uh, court 
also said is scheduled to hear his appeal for the $464 million verdict against him. The bond is underwritten by Knight Specialty Insurance, a California-based insurance company, but the court document does not list the collateral that Trump used to uh, secure the bond. So I have no idea what it could be the hotel, could mm, be, uh, could be just the go- could just be the gold <laughs> toilet. Yeah, might be the gold, <laughs> oh, yeah, the gold toilet. That up, you know? no, no, no. Imagine that, $175 million. Yeah. Jeez. Well, four hundred sixty-four million. That yeah. uh, you know, but well, that's just the bond that he had. This imagine year. the amount of money he spent on lawyers in the last oh my God. year, <laughs> two years. Sure. Whatever well, it is. I'm sure he's got a lot of those guys on retainer, so he True. probably didn't work for him already. Yeah. Uh, speaking of one of his lawyers, uh, I heard Giuliani. Giuliani is like going broke. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah. They're trying to get him out of his house, whatever, and he goes like, "I'm going to be homeless. I'm not going to have anything." <sighs> How do you how do you fall that far? I mean, he was the hero of New York. Hero, <laughs> like they right? talked about, he was going to be a president, and for like, sure, yeah. like he was a shoe in. Yeah. You know? I think we all agree when we say the downfall of Giuliani was the hair dye. Yeah, oh yeah. my yeah. god, yeah, that was the start of it for sure. Yeah, I mean, that the was hair really dye bad. and the uh, Borat thing oh, <laughs> 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 didn't look great. The what was the uh, where he was outside? Four the, seasons, four seasons, yeah. Yeah. Like, the four was, seasons lawn company. <laughs> yeah, really weird. <laughs> now keep in mind, I. I grew up in New York. I've known Rudy Giuliani since he was uh, prosecuting mobsters before he was governor. He wasn't he part of the Manson trials? Giuliani was, I believe. Ma- Charlie Manson, Manson, yeah. I don't. That was on the West Coast. I, I'm almost positive that he was uh, part I of that. Don't believe so. All right, but uh, he he was prosecuting uh, mobsters when I was in high school. They used to have this parody song on uh, on Z100 when I was a kid. It was about really Rudy Giuliani starting his car every morning. And, uh, you know, he, he's been so, uh, a sign of goodness until he got involved with Trump. I mean, uh, 9-11, he was a leader and a hero, and he was definitely had presidential potential. Then that Borat thing happened, and when the premiere came out of Borat, we saw it. And the next day, we had Giuliani on the air, and that was so, so difficult to bring that up to him, liking him for so long. I met him at a Yankee game, and we shook hands, and it was so... I was like, oh, I was starstruck. I, I, you know, it was right after nine eleven, and I shook his hand. And I was like, oh my god, Giuliani. And now I'm like, mm, I don't, 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 don't know. Like he <laughs> has fallen so far, yeah. so far, so weird. I don't understand that whole thing because he he got caught up in the whole. He became like Roger Stone. Like he's a guy that you know is smart, but you just don't respect him. Yeah. By the way, Charlie Belcher live at Frankie's Chop House right. in St. Petersburg. And I had good for Frankie. He's getting all this publicity. What a great steakhouse in St. Pete. This has been Frankie's dream to open that restaurant years and years ago, sitting inside Cafe Chibo. He's like, bro, I want to turn Cafe Chibo into a sushi restaurant and open up an Italian steakhouse because there's no steakhouses in St. Peter. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, weirdo. And now look at him. He's got two great restaurants, two yeah. blocks from each other in uh, in St. Pete. Good for you, Frank. Charlie Belcher, best job in the uh, Best job in the world. In the world. Yeah. Best job in the world. He gets it. Charlie gets to pick the places that he wants to go, and he gets to just go do it and eat free food and hang out and high five celebrities and be in circuses. And best job ever. <laughs> best job ever. Uh, different Italian lawyer. Yeah. Uh, Bugliosi. 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 Vincent yeah. Bugliosi. Because remember in the, uh, well, you know, in the movie thing, whatever, where uh, Charles Manson's looking at him and stuff, and his, his uh, watch stops, and he looks over, yeah. and Manson's looking at him. He's like, oh, he's not that wise. So weird. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued an executive order on Monday suspending Regina Hill as Orlando commissioner days after her arrest. DeSantis' decision to suspend the embattled District 5 commissioner is in accordance with Florida law, which gives the governor power to remove an elected official uh, from office should they be indicted by a grand jury. Hill was indicted by a grand jury last week on charges related to uh, elderly exploitation oh. and fraud. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Don't take advantage of the yeah, old people. Come on, poor old people. Elderly exploitation. I do see some of that on Pornhub. I do <laughs> oh, yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. That's the good stuff. Because here's the problem. If you look at my Pornhub, you'd probably be quite disgusted or, or ex-hamster or whatever it is. Because I don't like to watch young girls. It does nothing for me. Uh, but So I look at it like a mature woman. But if you put in mature, and now mm-hmm. when you're 50, mature, mature women ha- is like 70, and it's gross. Mm. So I have to yeah, find. Yeah, because MILFs are like uh, late 20s. 20s, yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. That's where the action's at, the MILFs. But I don't know. I tried watching You're porn yesterday. Gilf. I'm not good, not by choice. I'm not, no. Well, I'm saying yeah. if you want something older, you got to go GILF. Yeah. Because yeah. even mature, mature is like our age. Right. 
Right. That's what I'm saying now. It's no, there's no MILF anymore for us. No. Yeah. It's GILF. It's yeah. GILF. I don't know. I'm not really that much into porn anymore. I don't know what it is. I think it's my age. I'm not, don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm still horned up. Mm -hmm. I just don't have that. Like, porn's not doing it for me. Yeah. And I'm like, I go, what is? Oh, nothing. I, I no. mean, I, like, I want, I want real time lady action. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, porn every once in a while, you like, I put a good solid 15 minutes and it'd be good for a little while. Now I, I will. 15 minutes. Yeah, what do you? Yeah, a long time. What? <laughs> well, the, he the likes to romance is, himself. Yeah. The search yeah. is part yeah, of the, yeah, the, part the video. Of the, yeah. Yeah. Like Tom, I'm not judging. I'm just, yeah. you know, it seems a long time. You, you got to light the like candles a, and set up the hammock. Yeah. You make me sound like yeah. I'm, a, I'm a deviant over here. <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> I got slow internet. What uh, do you want from me? They do you, man. Uh, Oregon's Democratic governor, Tina Kodak, on Monday signed uh, into law a bill that Recriminalizes the possession of small amounts of drugs, ah. ending a first in the nation experiment of decriminalization that was uh, hobbled by implementation issues. Uh, the new law rolls back a 2020 voter approved measure by making so called personal use possession a misdemeanor punishable by up to six months in jail. It also establishes ways for treatment to be offered as an alternative to criminal penalties by encouraging law enforcement agencies to create the Election programs that would divert people to addiction and mental health services instead of criminal justice system. By the way, just take a look at her. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me that face doesn't say, well, I don't think we have to make it illegal. <laughs> well, yeah. And then that face speaks says Oregon all day long. Right. It's, and then it's like, cops, help us. Yeah. Help! <laughs> it's always great when a politician reverses what the people voted for. That's yeah. awesome. That's I, I don't understand. Has there been study that shows that a state that legalized the marijuana is having problems? Well, is having problems or does better? They're well, clearly doing worse. I guess right. there's problems, whatever. But there are uh, actual countries that decriminalize stuff that hand out needles and have all these different yeah. programs and have like, uh, uh, I don't know whether it's uh, uh, state driven or government driven where they have rehab places, which they do much better instead of all you're doing whenever you're putting people in jail. Listen, they're criminals, but you're making a lot of people that aren't necessarily criminals criminals. But by putting them in jail, yeah. like that happens a lot. Especially you know, I think small does. amounts. You're not yeah. like trafficking and, drugs. And 100. percent Listen, I'm saying if somebody's out there murdering or raping or doing any of that stuff, yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially as a family member, you want them dead for sure, and you want them in jail. But if it's somebody who, like, they have situations where uh, a girl, her boyfriend was a drug dealer, and then he, you know, is beating her. And makes her take a, uh, a nickel bag somewhere, and then yeah. she gets busted for everything that was in the yeah. house right, right, and all this stuff, and then she's in jail for a hundred years. You know, I, you got to be able be a little smarter than that. I don't know. I we're voting on uh, recreational marijuana, and I just feel like we're like we're behind the times. I feel like we should be able to to do this now. We've seen it work so many places, mm -hmm. so many states. Marijuana is, I mean, in most cases, better than drinking for you. Yeah. Well, so. and if you. And if you already have medicinal, then why not just make it recreational? Right. Well, right. and I, I would I would imagine if you ask the majority of people in Florida if uh, recreational marijuana is okay, they'd be yeah, 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 yeah. yeah marijuana is legal. Yeah. yeah, I don't I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't really like it, and I don't. But I, I'm all for people being able to do it. It doesn't affect me in any way. I see a lot of people doing it now, and I don't really care. It doesn't. If it's not cause any problems. If you're stopping someone who has stage four cancer from oh, doing marijuana yeah. just so they can get some food down so they don't die of starvation, I don't know what your deal is. Yeah. You know what I mean? That just seems like a weird oh, situation. Also, I feel like that a lot of people that smoke marijuana uh, recreationally are not doing it just to be high. They're doing it as some sort of there is a medicinal use for it, even though they haven't been given a, a prescription for it necessarily. They have anxiety. They have uh, something that they feel better when they yeah. when they smoke. I mean, yeah. that, and it's not affecting us. I mean, but, we're not getting the when there's no high crime rate. There's no you know. And it's so funny to think that uh, you know just. 10 years ago, they were like, hey, no, 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 don't do marijuana. Yeah. But here's these pills that you will definitely be yeah. addicted to yeah. and not be able to get off. Perfectly and it's safe. so much worse. Yeah. You know? Didn't yeah. we have, uh, I think we had Fareed Zakarian from CNN, uh, the doctor who was did a whole anti-marijuana thing and then once everybody was using it medicinally he had to come back and say i was wrong my yeah. studies were wrong and uh, it ends up that it is helping people i think people had to walk it all back because they realize 
It's not nearly as bad as they thought it was going to be. Yeah. So in 2016, it passed by 71% of the vote. And I think you need 60 for it to go through. It'll go through now. Yeah. I don't think we're, I don't think we're in any danger now. I, I wonder what it, where the money's tied to it. If it goes recreational, if that's going to John Morgan. If that, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wonder if that is what could hold it. I think that would be the only thing that would hold it up from passing. So I don't know. I, I don't want to speak factually because I don't know, but um, John Morgan it was very much outspoken for uh, it passing last time. And he, he likes to point to his brother who was uh, in a DUI accident. And, and a lot of times he's like, look, if it helps people out that are in that. And, uh, th- but then, then I heard that he has like one of only two licenses to grow the marijuana so that they could sell rec- recreationally. That's what I heard too. Yeah. So he's heavily invested in it. So, right. yeah. so he's making Positioned it like, I'm trying to money. help the people. Yeah, but the yeah. truth is he's looking to make all the money, which is fine with me too. I'm all for making as much money as you can. Because I think they limit the amount of dispensaries and they R- limit the amount growers. of yeah. growers. Yeah. So and- if, you're positioned to be the guy, and it passes. You're getting super rich. Yeah, as if he wasn't super rich, right? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, good for him. He's smart. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that's a that's an yeah. interesting non-transparent move that you make right there. It, it's just amazing to me, though. There's certain things that uh, you know, and uh, not like hey, government, you're the worst. But it, they are deciding who gets to do what. You can't gamble. You're not no, allowed yeah. to gamble. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can have marijuana, right. but only for medical. And then if you want to chop your wiener off, go for it. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely that's the craziest thing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can't stop your kids from doing it. You know, it's yeah. like, it's like who are, who's making these well, judgment rules? The problem is they're supposed to be representing the people <laughs> right, yeah, and right. making the laws and voting based on, you know. But then we just see this where the governor turns over right, the yeah. thing that the people voted for. Yeah. It's, it's a, almost like it's corrupt. For yeah. <laughs> wow. what? All the money. I mean, it feels that way, but I'm not, I'm not sure. No. They seem like they're good people. Uh, Mike, next time you go get your three McRiddles, uh, make sure oh, there you, will be no next oh, time. No. Oh, no. Uh, well, see how the uh, people are doing. Maybe check out the cars in the parking lot of okay. the workers. See if they're getting a little bit nicer because California's fast act uh, legislation went into effect on Monday, mandating fast food chains with over 60 lo- locations nationwide to increase their minimum wage to $20 per hour yeah. within the state. It's only in California right now. Uh, major names like Starbucks, McDonald's, Chipotle will all be impacted by the new law. What is uh, minimum wage right now? 16. Well, the fast food workers, I think, was 16. I don't know what the actual minimum wage yeah, is. Yeah, country minimum wage uh, for a salary is what I want to know. I don't know what that I'm gonna is. I'm going to say that it's probably right around 16, 14 something maybe or it 16. It was $2 and change when I was a oh, kid. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then when I was in my... 20s it was five dollars an hour here which was amazing $5 i'm gonna say right around 15 florida's 12 okay so 12 california 20 is not that big of a deal like we well, think about it that fast sounds, food workers, right but though, you yeah. think about 20 dollars an hour and you're like what for fast food workers but really it's not much more than what the minimum wage is a minimum wage is unlivable yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying twenty dollars an hour is probably unlivable. Yeah. Really, to be honest. In, in Los Angeles, sure. Like in California and a lot of the cities, twenty dollars an hour is probably unlivable. Mm-hmm. But think about it. Twenty dollars an hour, if you're an adult and you are and you have no choice and you have no skills, you have something yeah. now you can go get twenty dollars an hour working in fast food. That's yeah. actually pretty good. I, I don't, and, and I don't think that that's th- that damning to the company. I mean, we think we say it now; it sounds weird, but twenty dollars an hour in a big city that's expensive like that is not that big of a deal. But but have you seen the price surges in those places, especially the fast food? But, yeah. like, but most likely are paying more for those sort of things in California and New York than you are in Florida anyway. Right, but that five dollar meal is now nine dollars. So, and that nine dollar meal there is now going to be fifteen, and that used to be affordable yeah. food. Where well, now it's not affordable. The big argument now that I'm hearing is that the corporations, like your McDonald's, your Wendy's stuff, the the amount of money they charge the franchisees, they could lower that cost, right. and, and then it could be absorbed there by because the there corporation. are other countries that McDonald's and all these places are in that have their their workers are making more money than that and their prices are lower so it's not yeah. necessarily it's you have to do it that way right. uh by the way uh our uh, ghost producer uh ethan from the eagle uh, uh, said it's uh seven dollars and 29 cents is the federal minimum wage oh not 12 dollars. well that's federal yeah. he said in florida in florida is 12. 12. are they paying ethan seven dollars an hour 
Oh, I don't no, know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe I'm that's kidding. how he knows. No, yeah. I'm but sure. it says by 2026 in Florida, it's going to go up to 15. Okay. 2026. Yeah. So we got but some time. The fast food restaurants now, it's over. I, the Wendy's right over here in Lutz. It's AI when you go to the drive-thru window now, and when you go inside, there's kiosks to order your food there, too. So you- I, I went to Checkers the other day. The drive-thru, there's two workers on the inside. Drive-thru is completely AI. Yeah. It is so creepy. I love uh, it. What'd you, I, get, what'd you get, Carmen? Cheese champ? No, uh, um, I got Chad a burger. He oh. just wanted uh, re- like double the big Buford's, whatever. No, uh, yeah. but the thing is, is the prices of the fast food places are going up for sure. Right. And I think it's Chili's right now has a commercial that they're running and they're saying that they have a burger and fries and a, another side and a drink, whatever, for like ten something. And that's amazing. Uh, well, yeah, and they say, "Have you seen the fast food prices? It's almost like they want you to come to yep. Chili's." Uh, yeah. You know, smart, yeah. Smart, yeah. Even McDonald's now they they put, they're pushing their app to order on the app nonstop, yep. and you order the app, you just pull up, so you don't even need a I person love, there. I love when I pull up and they go, "Will you be using your app today?" And I go, "No." <laughs> I just yell them, "No." Yeah. <laughs> no I we, just, we need a McGriddle for a boomer. <laughs> I always use the app; it's awesome. Do you really? Yeah. Why? Like, what is awesome about it? Well, your your card's connected to it right away. You just pull up, and they bring your food out to you. And then you get points for a lot of places. Free stuff. Dunkin', uh, yeah. uh, Jersey Mike's. You can just order and then go and just pick it right up there. I don't have That's to talk to anybody. You don't, have to, pay, you don't nope. have to pay at the counter. You don't have to do anything. You just Publix. go in and you say your name and grab the bag yeah, and walk I've out. Yeah, I've done that. I've at done the that. Uh, McDonald's, you pull right in the spot. When you get there, you hit the button and they walk your food yeah. out to you. Oh. Magic. I like it. But griddles for all. They don't need people to work there anymore, so yeah. keep fighting for the 20 bucks. Right. Uh, <laughs> it is an end of an era. After welcoming guests for 67 years, Las Vegas' third oldest uh, casino, the Tropicana, We'll close today Oof. at noon. Oh, yeah. no. and that's sad. Uh, yeah. It'll be demolished in October. Right after Martin stayed there. Yeah, well, <laughs> he stayed at the Pelican. I believe oh, yeah. is where he stayed. <laughs> uh, it'll be demolished in October to make room for what will become what? what the Hard Rock. There? Hard Rock, though. It is not another casino. Oh, it's going to be uh, a music venue. No, it is going to be a dispensary. No. No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Joe Drubling. It will become the Las Vegas A's baseball stadium. Uh, What is that? Their minor league team out there? No, the Oakland A's are moving. Oh, yeah. The Oakland A's are moving. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. So there you go. Las Vegas A's baseball stadium is going to be where the uh, Tropicana was. That's right there, man. That's why they should put the Ray Stadium down by the fairgrounds. And let the hard rock 100. be associated with yeah. them like that. I was yeah. just talking to my son about that the other day. I said that's the best spot for it because you got I four, you got two seventy five, yep. you got the casino, you got the venue, you have everything right. Sucks there. a little for St. Pete, but you've had it a long, long yeah, enough. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you had it a long time and didn't didn't go. Right. You know what <laughs> it I mean? Didn't right. work. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't feel bad for Rays fans at all if they take that stadium or if they take the team and just move it because you didn't go. Yeah. You didn't go. John Brennan's the only one who went. Uh, you know <laughs> that uh, Ferg's has to be like, I think it's pretty good in city. Probably stay right there. Pretty good. And when I was driving through Kansas City, the football stadium and the baseball stadium are right across the street from each other. Yeah. They're right there. Yeah. So everything's right, you know, within one location. So, I mean, that's kind of how where Raymond James Stadium is. You got uh, Steinbrenner Field across the street. Yeah. And you got Yankees Spring Training over there. So if you had. Uh, uh, put the race stadium right there, right, right on that parking property right there. They yep. don't play at the same time for very long, so mm-hmm. no, that's pretty cool. That's why we trade the Rays to Orlando. We get the Magic. They play at the Emily Arena, and then everything works out. Yeah. In, yeah, in. yeah. Uh, the Powerball who was won? drawn on Monday. Which one? What? Anybody? Who won? Who do you think won, Gio? I, I won. I don't want to tell <laughs> oh, you. Guys. You didn't want to say? No, it? I think Mike forgot to get his tickets and didn't get Mega Flyer. <laughs> mm. It rolled over. Oh! Hey! So the next drawing happens tomorrow night for the Powerball at an estimated $1.09 billion. All right, now you got me. I'm in. Ba, 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 billion. We're going to be rich. Yeah. I can't wait. Billion. To yeah. A billion dollars. Billion dollars. A billion dollars is what you need to actually walk away with a couple hundred million from yeah. the lotto. So you get what? 600 million probably somewhere in there? Yeah. Probably less. I don't know. It's so funny. We always do this, and then uh, nine people send the link to where you yeah. can actually it. look it up. Yeah. yeah, you can look it up and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah so, you know, whatever you get. But, yeah, it's, you're not going to be a billionaire. You'll be a millionaire, right. but uh, that'll be pretty nice. You know, you can do whatever it. you want yeah. with that kind of money, oh, whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. You know what I wouldn't do? I don't want to go to space. No. I don't, if Elon no. Musk no called interest. me and said, hey, 
we built a nice, comfortable, fat astronaut rocket for you to go in. We want to send you to the moon and back with no problem. I'd be like, nah, I'm good. Pass. I'll pass. I, I tweeted I, that out one time. I go, I don't ever want to go to space. I, I don't have the desire to do it. And Monica wrote back, did someone ask you to go? <laughs> uh, I would even say, like, if you're like, hey, we're going to do the show from space, I would be like, how about yeah. if I'm ground control? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I like when other people explore space, and I want to know, yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. want to be the guy. Right, yeah. I'm yeah. too delicate. If I win that type of money, I'm not doing space, skydiving, no. yeah. mountain bike. I'm not doing anything that's going to risk anything. I, I'm, I'm getting one of those bubble suits. Yeah. <laughs> I want, I'm going to do like they did in Limitless. I'm going to hire two guys, but walk behind me. Yep. Walk yeah, seven yeah. steps yeah. behind me. Yeah, for sure. Don't Nothing. Near me. And don't wear the same black suit. You look like the Matrix. <laughs> when is the uh, eclipse? Is that when is that? I believe it's April eighth. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's getting very the excited. Day we about get it. back. Yeah. I remember when uh, when the last time it happened. Joey was little, and we were all out there with those stupid glasses on, looking at the sun, and it was yeah. so ridiculously <laughs> yeah. uneventful. I was like, yeah. the only thing I remember from the last solar eclipse was they're like, whatever you do. Don't look up at the sun. Yeah. And then it was Trump out yeah. in the White House. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right the sun. If you're him. president, it doesn't hurt your eyes. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's a fact. <laughs> you don't even know. They give you a whole new eye yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, Wallet Hub just released its annual report where they rank 182 of the biggest cities in the U.S. from healthiest to least healthiest. The rankings are based on 41 factors, including overall physical health, mental health, health care costs and quality, nutrition, fitness level, all kind of stuff, parks and trails and everything. Uh, they say the 10 healthiest cities in the U.S. are, what do you think Denver. would be healthiest city in the U.S.? Denver is in there, Spanish. They're in the top 10. Somewhere in New Mexico? Uh, no New Mexico on here. Austin? Uh, Austin, Texas is not in there, no. What's that place in Arizona that Sedona. my in-laws left? Sedona. Sedona Arizona. Arizona. Uh, Scottsdale okay. is in there. Scottsdale, Arizona. The home, where the home office is. Uh, mm -hmm. Nashville, no. Nashville, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. yeah. Tennessee, <laughs> uh, like that Tennessee area is uh, mm -hmm. pretty... Robust. Uh, Irvine, <laughs> California, Scottsdale, Arizona, Salt Lake City, Denver, Portland, uh, Oregon, uh, Oregon uh, Washington, D.C., uh, San Diego, uh, Seattle. Galvin said the Nashville area is robust. <laughs> yeah, robust. that was great. Honolulu and uh, number one healthiest city in the U.S., surprisingly, because all the stuff that's going on there right now, San Francisco. Ooh. Yeah, uh, probably uh, all the homeless people. <laughs> yeah. If you're not eating a lot, They're shredded. <laughs> yeah, they ain't count the AIDS, are they? <laughs> yeah. Just walking around. Oh my god! Uh, the five least healthy cities in the U.S. are what? Memphis. Memphis. They're pretty robust. I hear yeah. the neighborly cities. Uh, the least healthiest uh, major cities are Detroit and Memphis. Those are the two least healthy, but then they have the other ones. New here. Orleans. Uh, let's see. Uh, New Orleans, no, but Shreveport, okay. Louisiana, uh, Columbus, Georgia, Laredo, Texas, Gulfport, Mississippi, and Brownsville, Texas. Oof. So yeah, Texas not that healthy. Brownsville, oh, yeah, a good uh, yeah. barbecue. It's all you're oh, eating out yeah. there. Delicious, delicious. I'll take. Some. I'll tell you, I went to uh, where did I go? Dallas recently like in the last couple of years that brisket god damn it in dallas was oh you enough to make me want to go back yeah, yeah yeah the uh hockey yeah the winter classic but it was it made me want to go back to eat that <laughs> uh, speaking of not healthy but delicious happy national peanut butter and jelly dude. yeah baby yeah. interesting yeah when you're a kid you eat peanut butter and jelly yeah then i think as you get older you just eat the peanut butter yeah, and just out of the jar. Well, or, or, yeah. <laughs> or an apple or some. You don't just eat peanut butter out of the jar? I do. I do. I do a spoon. Yeah. But uh, then you go back. to Then you have a peanut butter and jelly because you forgot how good they are. Delicious, yeah. I want to point out something. Peanut butter and jelly on the 24-hour uh, menu on the cruise. Yes. Yeah. Room yeah. Oh. yeah, but they never put enough jelly. Well, I'm sure you can ask for extra jelly I when you order. I always do, and they never, they always just yeah. give me the same Maybe they amount. go, grow up. I, I, be <laughs> I believe that I am in the minority here, but I am telling you that I believe this is the proper way to make a peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter on the bread, jelly on top of the peanut butter, oh. then bread. I'm with you. No. Oh, no. That's with crazy. Yeah. You, do, do you, you do peanut butter on one side, jelly yeah. on the other, and then yes. put it together? I do, I do. The, the problem with that that I find, the problem with that is the say. jelly sucks, sucks into the bread. In. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't mind that, and then I I uh, leave the jelly side on the plate, and I use the peanut butter side to smash no. it down. Oh, you know, they're heavy. Mm. Jelly yeah. on top. Heavy. Well, I mean, you could flip it over. Interesting. I put the jelly on my peanat butter. Like Alan said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I thought a lot of people were against me because uh, there's all those different things. I do, I do uh, 
shoe, uh, sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Yeah, me too. Do you? Yep. And right. Like, and I thought you were, because that sounds nuts. And then when you go to do it, I realized I did the same yeah. thing. It is yeah. nuts. No. I think you go sock, 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 sock shoe, shoe, shoe. No, no. Yeah. Sock, shoe, sock, shoe, tie, sock, shoe, tie. Yeah. And you, no, right sock. Left sock, right shoe, left shoe. You no. start on the right. I start I on the yeah. right. Oh, I go. No. I go. Yeah, you're. I. I'm a I right. On, I'm, I'm a righty too. I start I, on my left. I, I go left. right sock, right shoe, left sock, left shoe, left sock, left shoe, tie, right sock, right shoe, tie. Yeah, that's how I am. You're a terrorist. No, Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Spiritual feet, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Join yeah. me in my hammock. Are you confused? I'm. Yeah, Are you I'm trying very... to figure <laughs> out? Yeah, yeah. Oh wait a minute. I go. I go left slide, right slide. <laughs> I'm trying to th think of what I do. I don't never put a lot of thought into it. You know, yeah. when first time Galvin said he goes uh, sock shoe, sock shoe, I was like, that's crazy. You go sock, sock, shoe, shoe. And then I realized I don't no, do that. Yeah, I go no. one, one, one. Yeah. yeah that's I think I go it. sock, sock, shoe, shoe. I oh. wish to God that I didn't end the day yesterday fighting with my uh, wife so that I could be like, can you make us peanut butter? And jelly <laughs> oh, oh, that'd be so now great. I want a peanut butter. And jelly I'll make them. I got right. peanut, I got Here's peanut the thing, though. <laughs> Peanut butter, and peanut butter and jelly. What do you have with it? Glass of milk. Yeah. No. Goddamn right. It's only, oh, the only thing. What, yeah. the what, only what thing. in the world could you possibly say that's better? Than I milk? think right now I can handle having my coffee, but mostly milk. I I just it hurts my stomach. Yeah. So I don't too. drink oh, the milk. You're, then yeah. You're, yeah. Like you're you're inferior. Yeah. Less <laughs> <of man. laughs> uh, what about side? What do you uh, for a side? I don't have a side. Oh, I always no pickle. Side. Potato chips, pickle. Potato that was potato chips, chips and a pickle. Chips. Oh, you said it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A pickle with a peanut butter and jelly is good. Yeah, it's, it's ruins the, the ruins no, the no, aesthetic no, no. of the mouth. Uh -uh. Nice. I actually, as a kid, so weird. I used to do peanut butter and jelly with bologna and uh, sweet pickles oh, on, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. on the sandwich yeah, all together. Yeah. Bologna Whoa. on the sandwich, yeah. sweetened, you know, yeah. sweet, salt, Wild. sweet, salty. Get that sweet Wild. meat. <laughs> that just gave me chills. No. I sweet also, meat? I also used to eat Rice Krispies <laughs> with at least ten scoops of sugar. Yeah. On it. yeah. Salami and then peanut butter out of the jar. Wait, wait, oh. wait, wait. Together? <laughs> You're not putting yes. the salami in the rice krispies. No, no, no. But I'm eating uh, rice krispies out of the bowl with a ton of sugar, so it's got the big <laughs> syrupy thing at the bottom, whatever. And then I'd eat slices of salami and then take scoops of peanut butter. Yeah. And that was the meal. Ooh. Hell yeah, right. yeah. sweet and salty. You like savory and a little sweet. I like I'm it. Wow. <laughs> very, uh, very wow. Much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> How did he uh, die so young? He was a runner. <laughs> sad news. Uh, former NFL cornerback Vontae Davis was found dead uh, Monday at his residence you know in South Florida. What? Too much sugar in his residence. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Davy police confirmed he was 35 years old. They Ooh. said this morning, Davy police officers responded to a medical call. Officers were called to the residence by the house assistant who found the homeowner deceased. We can confirm that the deceased individual was Vontae Davis, age 35. Preliminary information suggests that foul play is not involved, according to Davy police. Uh, police said the investigation remains active. What do you think, Spanish uh, second? Uh Second shot. I don't know, man. I don't. Well, I, I'm excited. To, well, not excited, Sorry. but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the autopsy report says because there's a couple of these guys that have been complaining about blood clots, um, but mm. I don't know if that's what it was. You know, we won't know until the autopsy. Yeah, yeah but it's mm. always crazy when a you know, Young especially guy. an athlete, yeah. 35, and an athlete. Well, they did prove there was a couple of studies that came out recently. I don't know if you saw the. They did a huge one about the with the entire globe and. They found that the shots did cause an insane amount of myocarditis and blood uh, clots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did not see that. Yeah, yeah. I came up in my spiritual feed. He was the one. He just married. He just quit out of nowhere. Like he was with the yeah. Bills and he's like, I don't want to play football anymore. Right. Like That's why it makes me think that there's something more than. Yeah. Than, yeah. Know, yeah. 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 Like maybe he knew he was sick and just didn't say anything. Like, maybe he had mental could issues. Be. Yeah. Yeah, at the time, he's like, I just don't think I want to play football. I don't feel right out here. And then he just, he just quit. Yeah. That's so wild. Listen, you're getting hit by big guys running yeah. as fast as they can, and you have, uh, you know, $30 million in the bank. You go, yeah, yeah maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Brock Lesnar said he didn't want to be in the UFC because he didn't want to get punched anymore. Yeah. I get that. I yeah. feel it. 100%. Uh, did you guys see this? Angie Harmon from your uh, favorite, Rizzoli and Isles. Uh. <laughs> right? Isn't she on there? I think so, yeah. yeah or right? One of those ones. Uh, but Angie Harmon and her family really did not have a happy Easter because their dog, Ollie, was shot and killed by an Instacart delivery man. Damn. What? According to an Instagram post, the man delivered food to Angie's house, then shot their dog, claiming the dog attacked him and it was in self-defense. The cops let him go. 
But Angie says the driver, quote, didn't have a scratch on him or a bite. His pants weren't torn, anything. Also, she says that their security camera in the house was being charged, so he knew that it wasn't recording. Ooh, How did he know? Yeah. Because whenever he delivered it, it was sitting there that he saw it, is according mm. to her. Also, she says uh, that uh, he shot our dog with my daughter and myself at home and just kept saying, yeah, I shot your dog. Yeah, I did. Uh, she said, we're completely traumatized and beyond devastated at our loss of our beloved boy, our family member. Uh, Instacart suspended the guy who and is uh, cooperating with the investigation. Uh, but P TMZ spoke to the cops, and it sounds like they may might not be charging this guy. Also, the guy was using a woman's profile. Oh, for what? delivery, yeah. Oh, so it wasn't that even the person be allowed. that was showed on the Instacart app. Yeah. Yes, it should be. It nah, was, I don't like that because there's a couple times that that has happened to me where it's a you girl show up and it's the some door naked dude. and then it's some oh. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, this I worked thought it was out. Supposed to be Rosie. Who yeah. are you? <laughs> Get in here, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, that's it, weird. Oh, that's everything about that is weird, right? Yeah, her camera wasn't working. He used a different profile. What kind of dog? Oh, was it? Little, little, little dog. Cute little, 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 little. What does that dog have to be doing to you for you to shoot it? Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know. Licking you too much. I could like kick that dog across the yard yeah, if I had to for attacking me. Yeah. People are big pussies. Uh, yeah. Although, I got to tell you, I have a pretty big dog who is just a bag of air. She is no, the worst thing she could do is stare at you with those big brown eyes. <laughs> but when she barks, she's like, bur, 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 bur. the delivery guy one time, I opened the door and she tried to get out, like to touch him. And I go, no, she's fine. She's harmless. And the delivery guy goes, yeah. I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah, no, you're right. I'm sorry. You're, I get it. You, uh, you have you, reason to believe. You see the uh, Amazon guy. There's a bunch of different videos, but there was one where it's the Amazon or FedEx guy, and he goes up, and the ring doorbell's on, and there's a dog is sitting there, and it's a terrier. It looks like a pit bull, and it's pretty thick, and it's just sitting on the porch, like not moving. And he gets about 20 feet away, and he goes, "Oh." uh are you nice dog? Can I come <laughs> deliver this package? Whatever. And the dog's just sitting there and it's like a total Mexican standoff. And he's like, I have a package for you. I'm going to leave it right here. <laughs> and then the dog starts kind of wagging his butt and stuff. And he goes, Oh, you're nice. And then the dog's super uh, nice, but it's hilarious. Cause the guy's like, uh, Oh, okay. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> uh, so we have, uh, somebody shooting, uh, her dog, which is terrible. Uh, Angie Harmon. And then a, uh, another actor, uh, Boardwalk Empire star Michael Stolberg, who's been in a bunch of different one stuff. of our one of the great actors of our time that he's, is yet to get his real recognition. Yeah, he's really great. I like him a lot. He was attacked by a homeless guy with a rock. Uh, law enforcement sources uh, told TMZ that the actor was out jogging in Manhattan on Sunday around 7:45 p.m. when he suddenly felt something strike the back of his head. The alleged assailant was identified as 27-year-old named Xavier is Israel, uh, with a witness claiming they. Have observed him picking up a rock and hurling it at Michael. Police say Xavier was taken into custody without incident and has been booked for assault. Stahlbarg uh, sustained pain and bruising to the back of his head, but declined any medical attention. Yeah, Jeez. he uh, that's that's just a coincidence that he was a famous person. This probably happens with less, oh, sure, less yeah. famous people all the time. Uh, and he, uh, boy, that guy is a great actor. Yeah. He could play mean. He was the, the mobster in that one show. What was that show? Your honor. Your honor. Yeah. Uh, he was in your honor. He, he was, was in the, boardwalk empire. He played, uh, um, uh, Eli Rothstein or, uh, what's his know. name? Yeah. But he was in, um, uh, men in black. He had played like a weird character. Yeah. He's, he's great at all of it. Like there's a uh, Charlie and, uh, at, Frankie's place. They just sent me a picture. Charlie just sent me a picture of him and Frankie, and he said, "Me and Mike Tyson's cousin." Now, <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby. Mm -hmm. Come to my steakhouse. It's fantastic. Uh, remember, we talked about Kobe Bryant's replica NBA championship ring that yeah, his father, dad. yeah, his yeah. father had. It just sold at auction for how much? So it's a replica NBA championship ring that Kobe Bryant owned that he gave to his father, and his father auctioned it off. Uh, how much do you think they got for it? I don't know. I mean, like, I don't even know what those replica things are worth, let alone yeah. one that was his father's. And why do we know why his father was getting rid of it? Yeah, he I don't know. Money, we had talked Does about he that. need money? Seems like a weird thing. I think so, because I know that his uh, Kobe's wife is is in charge of the estate, and she's not really down with giving funds out. But he also was a pro athlete, and mm -hmm. they seemed to do pretty well. 
And but I do know that his mom was selling some of his stuff before yeah. he even died, and I think they had kind of a because they had beef because they didn't want her. Yeah, to, they was... didn't want him to marry her. Right. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. And I well, saw a player say that they're just you can't be mad at the dad because they're just trying to make a living. That yeah. was like a statement from a, one of Kobe's teammates. I have to tell Ten you, though, if my son was a champion, and he made me a replica ring to celebrate his championship. I can't see me get rid of it, especially right? if he died. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I'm say, not faulting them. I just, it's hard to, must be hard to part with. You say 10 grand. Yeah. Oh, I would say at least 50 grand. 50 grand. Any other guesses? 20. 20. I say 125,000. Gia, what do you got? 60. 60. You guys, I can tell, are all very, very, very low. Uh, it sold for $927,200. It is now the highest amount ever paid for a championship yeah, but you're, yeah. what you're paying for is the fact that it was Kobe's, Kobe's father's yeah, ring. Yeah, you know and all I mean? that stuff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And that's somebody who's a big fan that may want that, but the real value of it is probably no. nothing, you know, yeah. a couple of thousand dollars. I I, uh, ha- I have an entire set of the uh, Steelers Super Bowl replica rings, right. so I have all six of those, and sometimes I just want to wear them out and see yeah. if people ask yeah. me. Yeah. Awesome. Have you played? Yeah. What? Well, uh, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> you know, I try to wonder, I wonder if I would wear... If I had a championship ring, if I would wear it all the time, because I don't even like to wear my watch all the time, let alone a big, I don't wear my wedding ring a lot because it's thick and bulky. Mm-hmm. Do you know who has a championship ring in the building? In our building? Yeah. What, for what, what, cha- what team? The lightning. Who has a lightning championship? Olivero? Ring? No. Like a real one? Yeah. John Brennan? She worked with the lightning at oh, the time. Oh, Rhonda. Yeah. No. Oh. Danielle. What? Because she did all this stuff, uh, oh, the outside yeah. the stuff, whatever. Yeah, the announcing and everything. Because oh. I said, we were talking one time at the Lightning game, and uh, I was saying about my shirt and this and that, and she had the shoes. And I go, oh, I got to get some shoes because she has like blue vans that are really cool. And uh, I go, what you really need to get is one of those rings. And she goes, oh, I have one. And I go, are you serious? And she goes, yeah, because I was working here at the time. Oh, and that's So great. she worked for, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, my God. That's awesome. Wear it. I would yeah. wear that all the time. Hey, Charlie Belcher, look at me. I got my own restaurant with <laughs> steaks and everything. <laughs> Sorry, we're our buddy Frankie from Cafe Chibo is at his restaurant, Frankie's Italian Chop House, and our friend Charlie Belcher is there with him. Look, Frankie lost a little weight, but yeah, he, got, he, looks looks old. he looks old as hell. Frank, he looks tan, though. Yeah, Frankie looks like he's giggling, and then as soon as, uh, what's his name, he says something that he doesn't like, he just gets all serious <laughs> and stares at him. <laughs> well, here is Frankie's Chop House. We have the capability of saving a whole party. <laughs> I used gonna... to live in Baltimore. They hit that bridge. I can't believe it. Crab cake. I can't make it. Restaurant. Oh, Think Frankie's going to mention you? Uh, I I don't know. Charlie doesn't like when people bring me up on oh, the show. It makes what? him very yeah. jealous. Oh. Remember that one time he was at Felice's and Mama uh, had the yeah. picture of me and Charlie, and Charlie was like, "This is this is taking up our precious time." <laughs> yeah, uh, it makes him jealous or nervous. It makes him no, it makes probably him- a little <laughs> both. Yeah. Probably yeah. Little I think he's jealous because Mama liked you more. Probably one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. So that's it problem. makes me happy. Uh, so the uh, iHeart Music Awards happened last night. Did you anybody know? Did anybody watch? Did oh, anybody yeah. see? Oh, my favorite. Yeah, it's up all night. I will tell you. Bobby Bones, the host. Uh, out of all of those different awards that they have, and they wind up giving, you know, best new metal band to Miley Cyrus or somebody, <laughs> they kind of got it right. Well, because they, I mean, it, they have the. They do concerts. They do yeah. everything, right. so they know the. So real they know genres. what's going on. So, but I always hate that whenever they do the wrong genre and stuff. Uh, song of the year went to who? Who do you think got song of the year? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. No. Can, I don't know what the Taylor song Swift of the was year. up for it. Cruel can, Summer. Can, do you have the? Uh, oh, yeah, give I, us the, I have the list. Give sure. us the list, and we'll pick. Uh, Calm Down by Rema and Selena Gomez. Mm-hmm. You made that up. Creeping <laughs> by Metro Boomin. <laughs> With the weekend and Twenty One Savage, Cruel Summer was Taylor Swift. Uh, Dance the Night by Dua Lipa. Oh, I give her yeah. everything of the year. Uh, <laughs> Fast Car by Luke Combs. Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Kill Bill by SZA. Last Night by Morgan Wallen. Paint the Town Red by Doja Cat. Or Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. Vampire. Vampire. Uh, Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen. No idea. Carmen <laughs> Morgan Wallen Kill Bill by SZA ah, That was my second oh, choice yeah. SZA, She's been winning everything right I don't know I mean uh, my wife I mean, said it was the worst concert she's ever been to That's yeah that con- my daughter wanted to go to it She's never asked me for anything 
and it was completely sold out, and the yeah. tickets were like four hundred bucks. I, I like SZA. I do yeah. like. I like. Uh, I'm a little sick of that. Uh, kill, kill my, kill Bill, uh, kill my boyfriend. Kill Bill song. Yeah. 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 Well, but, that's uh, the song that won. Right, yeah. but uh, but SZA is talented. I I like. I just don't know that I'd sit through that concert. Uh, pop album of the year went to Olivia Rodrigo for Guts. Uh, uh, that album's great. Pop song of the year went to uh, Miley Cyrus for Flowers. Who won Pop Artist of the Year? Taylor Swift. Beyonce. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Uh, what about just artist of the year? Taylor Swift. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, duo or group of the year? Taylor Swift. No. She's not a duo <laughs> or a group. Uh, one Republic yeah. won that one. They're still around. Yeah. Uh, some of the other yeah. ones that were out there was uh, Blank, Dan and Shay, Fall Out Boy, Foo Fighters, Jonas Brothers, all the different ones. Uh, let's see. Uh, best new artist. Taylor Who's Swift. the best new artist to come out? She's been out for a little while. SZA. SZA, yeah. SZA? Yeah. No. Who are the choices? Metro Boomin. Uh, I will tell you the choices are David Kushner. No. Dochi. You know Dochi. I play it every once in a while. Okay. She's from here. So there's a Dochi cat and a Dochi? There's Doja. a Doja cat yeah. and a Dochi, yeah. Uh, Jelly Roll. Oh. Rema and Steven San- Sanchez. Jelly, Jelly, Roll. Jelly, Roll. Jelly, Jelly Roll. Roll. Jelly Roll. Jelly uh, Roll. What about the country? F- Jelly Roll, the fat... Titus O'Neil. <laughs> what about uh, country artist of the year? Who Beyonce. won that? Jelly yeah. Roll. No. no gri- Luke. Uh, the Morgan, Morgan Wallen. Wallen. Fast no. car. Morgan Wallen. Oh. Uh, Morgan Wallen with it, his uh, big song N word. Is Luke Combs no. the fat one too? <laughs> yeah. 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 He's kind of fat. Fat and country is cool now. Yeah. yeah. No, he's fat. Yeah. Luke, Luke Combs? Combs? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he's country fat. Like no. Jelly Roll's ridiculous fat. Luke Combs is country fat. Jelly Roll's I'm going to be dead soon fat. <laughs> well, <laughs> Luke Combs is like, I'm on my way fat. Uh, Jelly Roll is uh, working with uh, Gary Brecca, and I think he's down like uh, 30 pounds. Oh, or really? Like that. Yeah. the hydrated water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so I, at least he's trying to do something for it. And he was talking about doing the uh, 5K by May with Burton and Tom. Yeah, there's a lot of talking going on. <laughs> yeah. you know that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, let's see. What about... Uh, Hip hop artist of the year. Ooh, well, give us the choices. Twenty one Savage, Drake, Future, Gunna, and Lil Durk. Twenty one Savage. Twenty one Savage. Twenty one Savage. Lil Durk. Future. Carmen, how you go against Drake? Drake is the winner. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, it, of course. Have you seen his crank? Yeah, but oh, he's no oh. Twenty One Savage. Yeah. And he has, and he put out a bunch of albums, but all of it, but the albums he's putting out are like. Um, let me give you. Let me give like duo. Like, um, hey. Drake just half Drake sounds like he woke up singing a song and they recorded it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, now because he's trying to like actually get into the harder rap, he's no longer doing like the R&B lovey-dovey rap mm. and he's trying to actually rap. So he just has a bunch of features on all of his songs. Right. So they're not even his songs, they're right. the feature songs. Smart. Uh, what Smart about move. best new artist for hip hop? You have uh Dochi Ice Spice, Lola Brooke, Sexy Red, and Young Nudie. Uh, Ice, Ice Spice. Oh, I like Ice Young Spice. Nudie. Ice Spice. Ice Spice. I'm, I'm assuming it's Nudie. It's N U D Y. Maybe Nutty. Young Nutty. Yeah, I think you're right. I, don't know. I like Nudie. Hmm? Nudie. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see some of the other ones that we have. Uh, alternative Album of the Year Full was out Boy. Boy Genius. Oh. Uh, alternative Song of the Year was uh, One More Time by Blink 182. People are like, who are those old guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pop punk guys. Uh, bu- 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 best new artist, alternative, and rock. They put it together. Uh, you're not going to know this. I've never heard of this person before. Noah Kahan. Noah Kahn with oh. stick, stick Season. Mm, I don't know. I love him. Noah Kahn. Let me see. Or her. Hold on. Is it her? I don't know. love her. I only know love that, that person. Kid. Noah K A H A N. Six season. Wait here. It's very much a Mumford and Sons kind of. It's a beautiful song. No, <laughs> cut it out, man. Put the guitar out. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, who, who told Noah to bring his guitar? <laughs> yeah. uh, not again, Noah. Uh, Jesus, Noah. What about for iHeart uh, Rock Album of the Year? Taylor Swift. No. <laughs> I don't know. I need, the, I need the Greek choices. Rock album of the year. Uh, let's see. They don't actually give the choices. They just give the winner. Rock uh, album Foo of the Fighters. year went to Metallica. Wow. 72 what? seasons. They got yeah. it right. Yeah. How about that? Rock song of the year. 
I can give you the choices for that. 72 Seasons by Metallica, uh, Dead Don't Die, Shine Down, Lost, Linkin Park, Need a Favor, Jelly Roll, Rescued, Foo Fighters. If they made a Jelly Roll, I'll laugh my ass off. So Jelly Roll gets to be country and rock? Yeah. yeah. You With that slow-ass Jesus song? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Get out of here. He has other songs. You just don't know uh, them. No, but this, this song of the year is the Jesus song. Right. That's a, that's a rock song? No. Okay. I think the rock stations play it, though. Yeah, yeah. well, he's going to be at Welcome to Rockville. Like, I don't understand him because it's not rock. He, he's a he's crossover. Rock. He's yeah. a crossover guy. He looks like a rock guy. He's got tattoos. Yeah. So he's uh, out. The winner for rock song of the year was Lost by Linkin Park. Was that something they put out? Like It uh, was like an previously unre- unre- yeah, yeah. unreleased. Uh, and then rock artist of the year. You have uh, Corey Cardinal's favorite, Disturbed. Foo Fighters, Jelly Roll again in there, Metallica or Shine Down, Disturbed, Metallica, Shine Down, Foo Fighters, Foo Fighters, ha, you're Rock wrong, Artist Joe. of the Year, right. yes. <laughs> so they actually gave it to a rock band. So there you go. That's There's nice. some of the different ones that uh, won the awards. Mm. Do they show that on TV? I don't know. Yeah. I think they stream it live. Oh, ooh. yeah. Man, watch it on your phone. Yeah. Did you see uh, JoJo Siwa? <laughs> Her bad girl thing. <laughs> I mean, she looks like she looks like an ensemble member in Cats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she's trying to be a kiss. She's trying to be like you know when uh, Miley Cyrus did her slutty phase. To yeah, get, but that's not slutty. To get rid of the Hannah Montana stuff. Yeah. She's like into drugs and wieners and yeah. stuff. Oh boy, <laughs> that's what she's doing. Uh, I mean, look, I don't care about it. She doesn't. It's she so weird. Do anything to me for me, but uh, it is just, I mean, you're going out in costume now, is what it is. It's weird when these, like, she's famous for marketing to little girls. Right. Mm-hmm. And now she's trying to be, you know, well, shake that. Uh, yeah, she's trying to break away from it because she can't sell bows forever. At yeah. some point, it's going to be weird for a 30 right. year old woman to be selling <laughs> bows to little, you know Maybe what I mean? Don't call yourself JoJo. Yeah. <laughs> don't be a JoJo. What's her name? Joanne. Ugh. Change to Joanne Siwa. Oh, no. Oh, Joanne does not sound sexy. No, no. Yeah, neither does Joanne's JoJo. Are sexy. And it, oh, Joel, Joanne. Oh, that's oh. better. Yeah. Joel. Joel. Joel Siwa? Like Superman's dad. <laughs> that's Jor <laughs> <laughs> uh, So she she sings? Yeah. Dances yeah. and sings. Well, and yeah. I know yeah. that she dances because she started out on Dance Moms. Right. And, and then yeah, she, she parlayed that into, oh, okay. All right. And now she's super lesbian. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a deep voice. But she's, she's like, got hey. her she's got her core audience already. Yeah. So that's uh, you know, those kids who bought bows are now in their teens. Yeah. That's yeah. the so. thing. They're growing up, so yeah. they're not buying bows anymore. So now she's bows trying to get into to that. Dildos. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. She looks like she's wearing a Halloween costume. Right. And she looks it. absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but that's uh, yeah. everything. And look and, at Lady Gaga wore the meat suit and stuff. Yeah. You're just trying to do stuff so people go, Oh, she's so weird. Doja yeah. Cat's doing that now. Shaved off her eyebrows and wearing yeah. a cat suit and stuff. <laughs> she was so hot. Charlie Belcher just responded. He said, I don't mind that they mention you on the air as long as they don't give you more love than me. <laughs> I love Charlie Belcher. He's the best. Uh, that is it for news. All right. Thank you, Galvin. You we it. must take a break. Our phone numbers are 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025 if you want to chime in. We'll take a quick break. I'll hit the phone calls when we come back. It's the Mike Calta Show. This is 1025 The Bone. It's the Mike Calta Show, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025 are the phone numbers. If you'd like to get on the uh, program today, I'm uh, I'm not going to lie to you. My brain is officially on Calta Crew 17. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm thinking about what I need to do after the show to be there, what I need to do to get on board and make things good. I'm so excited that Pete is so excited about it. Yeah. yeah. Are Pete, you signed in? Me? Yeah. I've been signing for a month. Okay. I'm all, uh, all I got to do is take my fire, everything. Everything is done, Carmen. I got to do that. I have a, I have a cruise folder on my computer where when I have to sign up, I have the picture in there and everything I need all just ready to go. Oh, nice. Yeah. I have to find my passport. Oh, <laughs> well, no, it's you're in, not ready. Right. Right. It's in one of three places. Oh. I just need to go get it. I heard. Make sure you have the right one. Yeah. I know. They, they took my other one in Germany. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was that was one of the most scariest times ever was when they took my passport <laughs> in Germany. I didn't know because they were like so like I, I follow this uh, Instagram account where it's just customs people inspecting people coming back into the country because they're like, remember I told you they had uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was guinea pigs. Guinea pig. Meat. Right. Right. And uh, so they they tell you you can't bring back meat, vegetables or whatever. 
And when you get a lot of times like Korean people come back in, what do you have? Nothing, nothing. And they have all these all these seeds and plants <laughs> in there, and like they get busted. But I watch all of that stuff. When when you're in another country and they hold you up at the airport and they don't, they're being nice to you. That's they're like, no, no. What do you have a passport? Yeah. And then did you have two passports? I'm like, no. Did you cancel one? Yeah, but a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, you're good. You know, I'm like, oh my god, oh, what man. is going on? I thought they were going to arrest you. You did? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I'm like, this is I'm just for the, what? Because you had it seemed like you had a fake passport. You were trying to like pull something over. Because, but do you think that I would have oh, a fake no, passport? No, yeah, I, I didn't. I knew what would happen. How you? Got, I knew what happened. That you'd mix them up because you right. had one. But I, I think they thought this guy is trying to pull something here, something, and something. I felt the vibe like. Oh, Mike's gonna get arrested. <laughs> what do I do at this point? Do I just you have to leave me? Yeah, Conti- yeah I continue yeah. on. Continue on the trip without you. Hmm. Yeah, I was. I I wasn't nervous, but I was concerned. Yeah, I was like, because as it's going on in my head, I'm like, I grabbed the wrong passport, didn't I? It took a long time too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were there for a long time. And then the then the best is guy goes, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this, and when you go to the next port, the next stop. They'll they'll tell them that you know whatever, and I went okay. And as soon as I got the next port, and they were like, "Mr. Calto over here," like yeah. they were waiting oh, for me. And I went, yep. "Oh boy, they don't mess around." Oh boy. So let me explain for those of you who don't know. I had a passport, lost it, it got replaced, then found the other passport, and when I left for Germany, I grabbed the wrong passport. Yeah. So. Now what do you have a passport card? No, I are those guess useful, I should. Are those useful for anything? I don't know. It's it's my kids had them when they were little. I got them for the kids, but we never really used them. And it just seems like it, I don't know. It just seems like it's not. A, I never see anybody using them. Right. I have one, and I basically use it as like a second ID. Right. If I don't want to take like my license or something with me, you, that's what you can use it for. But I've just I don't know what you can use it for. I have all the stamps from all the places that I've been in my passport, but. I mean, it's not like we're sitting around going through my passport going, oh, remember we went to France? Yeah. You know, so it doesn't really matter to me. I heard that uh, somebody was having some trouble with their passport, might not be able to go on the cruise. Oh, I heard yeah. that too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he got that squared away or what happened. I don't happened. want to say his name, but he looks like a gorilla. Yeah. yeah. So here's what he said <laughs> to me. probably clarify. <laughs> he, he had, oh, yeah, no, no, it's Mike Oliver. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Galvin. I don't want to get canceled for nothing. That's why, that's why Galvin's here. Yeah. Uh, uh, I he he his passport was expired. No, it it expires in like July. In like July, and you're supposed to have six months before you go. But right. he's not really going out of the country. Country. He, I, but he's here's traveling the other thing: by boat. is just so people aren't freaking yeah, out right you now. Don't need you a don't have to have a passport. You can have your birth certificate and your ID, your yeah. driver's license, or whatever. Yeah, I believe Olivero. Does not have his birth certificate. No, he, he does, oh, but really? it's a wrong name. It's a different name. He was adopted yeah. right. by his mom's right. uh, husband, so. and it's on the uh, top of the uh, Empire State Building. Yeah, right. so right. <laughs> can, gotta... can he just show his reel yeah. of when he had Fay Ray? <laughs> but so my wife, who was adopted, uh, her name on her birth certificate is her adopted name, but then her ID has my last name because we're married and stuff, and that's always been fine. Yeah, yeah there. I mean, look, uh, I've been on 10 cruises with Royal Caribbean within the past, you know, six years, so I don't think that they're going to give me a hard time for anything if I, like, if I was in Olivero's position, and I think that they're just trying to, to secure your citizenship, so when he has a Florida driver's license and he has his his passport, which is valid. I think he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. You know. I'll build the wall, man. People are trying to come into the cruise ships. <laughs> right. Yeah, the worst thing that happened to Olivero is when he comes back, they don't recognize him as a citizen, and they give him a nice hotel room and a cell phone yeah. and let the taxpayers yeah. pay for it. Mm. <laughs> Plus, he's not going to be able to bring all those bananas back. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Thankfully, we have them here. Uh, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025 of the phone numbers. I don't want her to call in, but um, I hear Crazy Patty calls other shows. I just wonder why, what made her stop calling this show. I Same assume- thing with Jacob two times. I mean, I named them Jacob two times, and then one day he just stopped calling us. Are we too much for them? I'm good with it. I'm pretty yeah, happy yeah, about yeah, yeah. not calling in, but yeah, I don't know what the uh, the curiosity ever get to you. Though, no. like, I wonder, uh, you don't ever want to. <laughs> no. Like sometimes I hear Crazy Patty or somebody will tell me Crazy Patty called Roger and JP, and I go, "So did she just did she get mad at us one day? Is somebody stopping her from calling us?" I feel like it's just uh, you know her name is Crazy Patty, so there may be uh, not logical thinking going on. Sure, there. sure. Yeah. 
That could be it. I assume the husband, who is not a fan of the oh. show, I don't know. Shut I, it I down. mean, I met him. He he's seen my face a lot. Yeah, because yeah. uh, it's tattooed on her butt. But um, I met him. He seemed to be pretty. And it wasn't. Nice. But it was. It does. It wasn't just the husband. It was like her brother who helps take care of her. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. It's nah, like out. Know. Yeah, outside family. I don't that think was, they like us. No. Yeah, a lot of her. time outside family doesn't like us. Yeah, that's uh, Love Tiger, mm-hmm. Crazy Patty. I don't know it. who else. <laughs> it's true. Medicine Man's brother. Yeah. Mm, those sort of people. Dum Dum Lori. Oh yeah, Dum Dum Lori. Her sister hated us. Yeah. Do we assume she's dead? No, yes. I think she's being. Oh. I think she's like they got a good strong hold on her, <laughs> and they don't let her use the phone or anything. Like that. I, the, my fifth one let me use the phone. <laughs> Something like that. I forgot what she sounds like. That was close. She what, had a bad lisp. Yeah, yeah. What if she just showed up one day completely cleaned up oh, and just man. like totally normal and it was like, yeah, I went through some rough times. <laughs> she, yeah, she went or she joined the Scientologist yeah, and they yeah. straightened her up. She comes to the sad weirdo meetings. I would imagine. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just want to bring this out. I spend a lot of time in Clearwater this last weekend and a lot of time in downtown Clearwater. There's a Starbucks there that I go to where you have to. I never went to it before because you have to park and go inside. And you know me, I love the drive through. But uh, it wasn't because I didn't want to get out. It's just I didn't think I'd find a parking spot. And two days in a row, I went and the spot right out front was open. So I got a new routine now. And as I drove down there, I don't know what it is about Scientology that people don't like. And I'm not talking about the religion of it. I mean, just like the people who get mad that they bought all the property down there. I'm in this beautiful Starbucks looking across the street and there's all that you could tell that they own the whole block, but all the facades that they have on the front are, you know, look like they were put up yesterday. They're all gold leaf. They're, they're like nice colors. It made downtown look so attractive. Then you go past their headquarters over there. It's got that big hotel with the, with the walkway across to the other hotel. And I thought this is beautiful down here. And then you have the old courthouse I go, who's mad at them? Like, I don't understand why the initial anger for pe- that people have that they bought up all the land down there. Are they, yeah. you know, because I, much like Crazy Patty, I don't think they're being logical. Yeah. Like, were right. you gonna well, buy it? You know what I mean? Like, uh, exactly. That's like, they stopped you from buying it. No, they made it nice, and who cares? I well, just, maybe because there's nothing to do down there unless you're a Scientologist. But that's not true. Yeah, I, I have. I stayed down there this whole weekend with a million things to do, and and uh, and. You know, there's all these restaurants that are non Scientologist related. Right. They're all down there. There's a Starbucks that's not theirs. You know, I I just couldn't figure out what made people mad. And and even though it looks off putting to the person that is unaware, they do wear some sort of uniform. So a lot of times, especially at like I don't know, maybe shift changes or whatever, it is it does look like a lot of Mater D's are walking around <laughs> down there. But uh, but it's not it's not like they're walking around in togas. You yeah. know what I mean? Or or in some sort of monk outfit or or Harry Krishna with their bald head with a ponytail. <laughs> They're just average people dressed like I just I'm not defending it. I just don't understand it. You know, I don't understand what makes people get so fired up about them. Yeah. I can't wait. I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years from now when we find out that Mike's a Scientologist. Oh, yeah. man. He's <laughs> like, uh, I, mean, I just think it's nice. I got I, the yeah. metachlorine. I, I don't am, know. I am this close. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I, I wouldn't be a Scientologist the same way I wouldn't go to church. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm just not interested in, in studying somebody else's religion. Or yeah. whatever. I'm very much of, I'm doing things my way. Mm-hmm. Tell us about Zeno. Gonna, oh, yeah. let me tell you. Yeah. The, uh, can I give you my th- uh, analogy that I've done before? Do you believe in real life? Do you believe that there are aliens and other life forms out there? Yes. Do you believe in angels? No. Do you believe in uh, that Moses parted the Red Sea? No. So basically, what you're telling me is that Scientology, who's rooted in believing in space and other life, you know, Xenu and aliens or whatever. They have more of a believable story than most oh, religions. One hundred percent. Yeah, right. So then, why are they <laughs> yeah. so weird? Yeah, I don't think they're weird at all. The, oh, yeah. they're everybody. Oh, they hate the Scientology for yeah. what? What do they do? You just got recruited. Rec- rec- <laughs> yeah. 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 Now I need you to yeah. hold these two things. You want to come to Clearwater this week? Oh, yeah. Look, I, and anybody that tries to tell me, <laughs> yeah, but they don't let people leave, and yeah. they don't do that. You yeah, listen. I have been down there for two years now. I have never bothered them. They have never bothered me. That's yeah. how I yeah, go. Leave them it, alone. You're not in it and tried to leave. What are the rules? No, but like the people that um, 
the people that uh, the that anonymous group and those people that go down there and they protest them and they videotape them and all this stuff and then they go. Then they had a guy following me back to my house. He got the address. Then they called my mother in Kentucky and told her that, yeah, oh, leave yeah, them alone. Yeah, yeah. Leave yeah. them alone. Yeah. That's all That's all they're saying is we didn't invite you. Yeah. Don't bother us. <laughs> you know, I don't know. That's, that kind of stuff just blows my mind. Uh, oops, sorry. Let me grab some of these calls. Uh, Mike, out the show. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Mike and everybody. How are you guys doing? This is Stephanie. What's happening, Stephanie? So I have a question about you guys talking about Mike Olivero and his um, being adopted and his birth certificate. So I also was adopted. Did his parents not change his birth certificate when he became adopted? So he did. So his mom is his biological mother, and I believe his dad. I think his dad passed away, and his uh, mother's husband adopted him. And they did change it, but I don't think he has access to those to those forms right now. Because they they live in, they live uh, okay. in South Florida, and I don't think he had that stuff here. So I don't I don't really know all the details. But that was the thing; they did everything the right way. He just didn't have access to it. Gotcha. Um, the the thing that I was going to say, if that was the case, he can go to um, on on not go to the physical office to start off with. He can look up the uh, Bureau of Vital Statistics. And there may be a way he can get that online. Yeah, I, I've done that. For future, yeah. Gotcha. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, I have been through so many. I've lost my passport stages that I have uh, backup birth certificates. Because when you go to buy a birth certificate, they're like, you can buy one and it's $12. You can get additional copies for a dollar each. I'm like, give me 15 just to be safe. And it has to have the raised seal. Yeah, yeah. I have one. My wife the other day, my daughter's switching schools as she goes into middle school. And my wife's like, do you know where Juliana's? Uh, birth certificate and social security card. I go, yes, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. I have them both. I feel very prepared as a, as a parent. Mike out the show. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm calling about the Scientology thing and, and why people do have an issue with it. Okay. Um, it's because they don't have to pay taxes. Sci- that's not their they fault. Are- They're, they are... They're an applied science. Well, I understand, are, but but they're saying that they're a religion, and they're buying up all this property with nothing that's contributing back into the state of Florida or Clearwater, especially. Yeah, but they're they're doing it for their organization, which is uh, helping uh, you know countless amounts of people in that are Scientologists. And well, I, have you been into one of those properties? Uh, I was in the hotel at one point. Right, so it, the the majority of them are no one's there. What do you so mean? So they're just buying. Uh, no one's there. They're just storefronts. Yeah, there are facades on the front, which I think looks very Disney like. I think it looks. It's interesting. I don't know what they're what they're doing. I mean, right, each so one it doesn't is, contribute anything back into the city of Clearwater or the state of Florida. So that is why people are having an issue. If you're asking why people are having an issue. That's the reason. But what do you want them to, what are, what are they required to contribute back? Like, what are you expecting? From tax them? dollars. Tax dollars, yeah. yeah. But, they're, well, but they're a dollars. church. That's what I'm saying. Why don't, but, but it doesn't, but the point is, is that they're taking all that tax money away from the city of Clearwater. Okay. I mean, you, I, does I that get, make sense? yeah, yeah, well, it definitely makes sense. I don't know if it would get me fired up enough to be mad at anything, but I, I get it. That makes sense. But it's a lot of property, and that is very uh, high Smart dollar turning, <laughs> for lack of a better way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Um, like usually a church, down there. But usually, so, like a church would only have like one piece of property. Right. They wouldn't have they're, the whole downtown Clearwater. They're yeah. taking up the entire fronts. downtown. It's basically yeah. It's basically just shut down to uh, to revenue, and that is why people do have a problem with it. So. Yeah. That there was, could be actual operational businesses. Absolutely. Exactly, oh. Carmen. Exactly. What is your name, ma'am? First name? Angie. Congratulations, Angie. You're the first common sense caller I've had since 2024. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I, I asked a question <laughs> and I it. got an answer. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate the heads up. Have a great day. You too. I, I could not really understand why people... Because, look, you look at the Vatican, it's the largest yeah. landowner in Europe. But uh, 
but I I understand why she's saying people. Because I mean, if there's that. a Hilton down there, yeah, and then that's paying tax dollars in Clearwater and is bringing people to that area and all the whole thing. Yeah. All right. I still like them. Mike Howe, the show. Good morning. Close your window. Mike Howe, the show. Hello. Oh, hi there, Mike Howe, this medicine man. Good talking to you. Mike Howe, the show. Good morning. <laughs> Shalom, Michael. How you doing? Shalom, my Jewish friend. Hey, listen, um, back in the day, I had a hood cleaning business for restaurants where I cleaned the exhaust system. Right. And I did a job back in, um, in the church. And what was happening at the time that I was doing it, I had uh, no idea, Scientology, what was going on. All I knew that it was another job. When we were going in there, I had to cut into the ductwork uh, so it would have easy access to clean the exhaust systems. Uh, obviously, they were having a meeting in the room next door to the kitchen, and they told me that I can't do the cutting because of the noise. Um, so I stopped and listened to what was going on in the uh, auditorium or in the cafeteria, whatever room it was in, and they were shaming a woman. And I don't remember the reason why she was being shamed, but she was going up there saying that she was sorry. She should have never done this. And I was thinking, like, what the hell is going on here? I had no idea. And I wish I remember what the topic was. But then me being nosy, I looked around, and there was a paper there that she had to admit to all these different things of being embarrassed, being humiliated. And I thought, that's kind of weird that you have to do that in front of a large group of people. So yeah, I don't but know. It's kind of like, like any 12-step program when you go in front of the group of people and you have to admit all the things you've done wrong, you have to. Yeah, if you're willing to start, Spanish will tell you. If you're willing to start over, you got to be broken down and start down and really admit what all your problems are. I mean, look, I'm not defending the way they do uh, their day to day practices. I really don't have enough knowledge about it. But having been in other religions, I mean, having grown up Catholic and having to go to confession, you do the same thing. You go in a box, you talk to the priest, and you break down all the things you've done wrong. Yeah, I got no problem with that. I just thought it's kind of weird that you're doing it in larger in front of a large group of people. Yeah, um, you know, yeah, I'm not saying anything good or bad about right, them. That's right. my experience with them, and I got no reason to knock them. I mean, you're right; it's gorgeous architect down there. It's clean. Um, there's some weird things that go on. I mean, you know, they're employees. You're not the loading dock. I have a friend that makes monthly deliveries there. They're armed. And they got security cameras all over. And I'm assuming that's because of the publicity that a lot of people don't like them and they got to protect themselves. Well, that's also, also you're dealing with, uh, with celebrities. You're dealing with a lot of money. You're dealing with higher end people. I mean, you got Tom Cruise, you got John Travolta, you had, uh, uh, Kirstie Alley. I mean, just to name a few of the people who are down here in their celebrity area. So they have to protect themselves, not just for, uh, for the dangers, but for the privacy. Yeah, that's true. Like I said, it's nothing good or bad. It was just, yeah. you know, kind of weird that I put that happen. But you got to do what you got to do, you know, because I'm sure the publicity is a lot worse than what they actually are. For sure, for sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good talking to you, buddy. Don't forget, Kirstie Alley, dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I didn't forget. <laughs> well, Not, you said that. They didn't kill her. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you were <laughs> saying that she was you know involved that? in yeah. stuff. She's dead. Uh, Mike, how the show, though? Uh, hey, good morning. How are you? Good. What's happening? Uh, I just wanted to point out, everybody else made my points, but the other thing I want to say is, don't forget, at the Fort Harrison, that's where Mick Jagger and Keith Richards wrote, can't get no satisfaction. They, they, my my junior... Per- what about your junior? What did you say? Junior, my junior prom was at that building. I've been in Clearwater since 1963, and when they first came down, there was a newspaper called the Clearwater Sun that was... I knew exposés on them, and they had a Supreme Court case saying they were not a church, quote, and they should have to pay taxes. And me, I agree. I think the Catholic Church should have to pay taxes, I, I'm too. I'm 100% but, with you on bo- I'm for both the churches. I don't understand why they get a tax exemption for it, but now that's been the only... The only uh, source of people's anger is, is taxes. I did know that about uh, Mick Jagger because he said it last time he was in concert here and he uh, mentioned Hooters. Yeah, it was uh, It was at the Fort. They were staying at Fort Harrison and they were playing at Jack Russell Stadium downtown Clearwater at the time. We were all little kids. Crazy. And stuff. But that was, uh, you know, that, 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 the, that area is like, there used to be a guy down there a couple of years ago who was doing little tours 
talking about the history of Scientology. He was making a living doing it. I, I, my boat's down there, so I drive down there every day. Yeah. And so he was doing that, and I was watching him. I thought, what a great business idea. You know, he was just going around to the different spots and talking about the history of Scientology. Then he disappeared. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, they got him. Uh, all right, thank you. I, I <laughs> yeah. will tell you this, that over the years, the uh, the Scientology uh, people have been in the studio with us. And they were not, they didn't withhold anything. I mean, they, they took phone calls. They let us answer, ask some questions and they didn't, they did not answer anything. And, uh, I thought it was pretty ballsy of them to do that. They put themselves in a vulnerable position and took all the, all the questions. And I told them straight out, I think I used these words. I said, look, I think you're nuts, but I think all religions are nuts. So it's not you. And I just don't understand why people single you out over, over other religions um, it really, if you st- take a step back and you start, like, I remember the, I remember the epiphany I had when I was a kid of, or probably like a teenager about the Catholic religion. And I was like, wait a second, you can't live to be 300 years old. And no, no, uh, they didn't make a woman out of a rib. Like I just started realizing what was a story and what was not, uh, Mike Calder show. Good morning. I love you guys. Hey, I got mad at them because I got rid of the spaghetti warehouse. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm still upset with that man. Son of a bitch. Got them a deal. Listen, yeah. what, what if they would have just changed it to uh, L. Ron Hubbard's Spaghetti House? Do you think they made some money uh, off it? Oh, you eat beer chili and all that stuff. Yeah. I missed that. Man. Oh, My bad. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, sir. Thank you. The Hubbard House of Pasta. <laughs> uh, Mike Calder, show hello. Hey, it's your man, Mr. Legend. Why? Man. What do you want? I already hung up on you one time. What do you want? Bring him on the cruise. Uh, you got to hung up because, you know, I see the sun. Mike Alda show, though. Hey, this is Kurt. Um, I just wanted to comment on what that last girl was saying about them not paying taxes. No churches pay taxes. That's just the way it is. Well, I, I, um, I understand but, that, but the, she brought up the point was that they don't have to pay taxes, and they bought a tremendous amount of land. Yeah. That it would occupy, uh, you know, spaces where they could be generating tax revenue, and they are. It, go ahead. Right, but they they own uh, relatively little land. I mean, they own a lot of land in Pinellas County, and specifically in Clearwater. The largest private landowner in the state of Florida is the Mormon Church. They own almost a million acres of land. That's office buildings, apartment complexes, farmlands, you name it. You know, where's the outrage against the Mormons? Right, that's a my, that's been my whole, land. That's that's like and that's, that's like one to two percent of the entire land mass of the state of Florida is owned by the Mormon Church. And that was my whole and point there's no, of, of there's no it outrage up. about that. Right, I was saying not only not not should there be or should there not be, but I was always wondering why why it's the Scientologists everybody gets mad at, not the Mormons, not the Catholics, not the Jews, not the you know Protestants. They get they just get mad specifically at the Scientologists. That was my good, good point, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, last call, Mike Calvi Show. Hello. Hey, um, not to beat a dead horse, but the uh, the lady that was talking about the um, the place in Clearwater being empty um, as a as a tax shelter. There's there's one in Plant City. It's in a very very nice uh, building, um, and nobody's ever there. Yeah. It is a, it is a storefront. But they're yeah they're they are not paying taxes, but they're there in the middle of the in the middle of the city, just taking up space. Yeah, but yeah, I mean I I don't they're in Ebor City too, but you don't know what they do. You don't know why they're using that building. But again, you know I mean? another business could be there that that is taxable. Exactly. Yeah, but also uh, any other church could have gone in there. Any other religious. Uh, organization could have bought that property for something, whether whatever they use it for is really, if you're not in that church, is none of your business. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to really yeah, shut no, you like, down, but that's just the truth. For the for the size of those buildings, you don't really see a lot of people. No, it's but always see, I, a couple times I've been down there. I've seen like a handful of people walking around. I don't know. I I see a, a lot of. Of people, a lot of their people, but yeah. I don't. It's not like they're all going to be outside, right? Either, but I mean, they for own. like building massive buildings, you would think there'd be a ton of action. Yeah, I mean, I, I every time you pass that Fort Harrison, it's it's got something going on. It always looks like a prom is ending out there. I mean, there's yeah. always a ton of people out there, and I'm talking about different t- times of day. But you know, I see people walking around and going from building to building. 
that interesting part of uh, of that one strip where they have what look like the facades on the outside. I don't know what they do inside, but each building is labeled. Mm. Uh, this is a drug free center, and this is uh, work and do this, or whatever. But I don't really know what goes on inside, nor do I really give a fly enough. Yeah, to be honest with you, it's none of my business. I'm not there. You thought I was going to say? Uh, it, yeah, yeah, you uh, made me nervous. No, I, I have uh, some photos I want to share with you guys that somebody sent me that was working. Um, on one of the buildings. Okay. And uh, they're pretty interesting. Photos. Well, give me an idea what people are going to want to know what you're talking about. Uh, looks, they look kind of like cages of chicken wire. Yeah. Inside? I'm, yeah. But yeah. I'm going to need more. I'll show you. I'll no, show no, you. I know, but I'm going to need more explanation. Do you tell me they're locking people in there? I don't but know. But you're not going to get an explanation. Well, yeah. And that's. <laughs> and there's a couple handprints. <laughs> there's rumors online that people get locked up and yeah. you can't leave. That's one of the big. Like knocks. that's Good. part of their. Yeah. yeah. You got tricked. Like, what, they got gotcha. you. When you break one of the rules, you have to you get locked up. No, don't break a rule. That's what they say. Follow the rules, Gio. Now, listen, That's man. what we do here. I'm in. Sign me up. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I feel like Spanish is a half a click away. What do you mean? From Scientology? From Scientology. No, 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 no. Scientology yeah. isn't. If they had beads, you would. All right, you may. At beads and hammocks? I'm in. Do you, does anybody in this room, or no, your you're role most, Galvin, you probably weren't into it, and... Joe, maybe you hmm. know what breakdancing beads are? Breakdancing beads? Yes. I was very much into breakdancing, and I don't know what breakdancing beads are. Did you have the parachute pants? Of course. Oh, First one in my school. <laughs> I, they didn't make them in 2X, so I didn't have them. Spanish breakdancing beads are very similar to the beads that you're wearing, Okay. except they would be uh, tight around the neck and hang down the back. And it would be like a circle with a tail almost. Okay. And they would they would go four blue, like ours... Ours was four blue, two white, four blue, two okay, white, four okay. all around. And then the tail, you can make whatever you want. Nice. And then, yeah, and then you'd wear it that way. And that meant you were in a crew with other, was, the other breakdancers. I'm not going to lie, they look pretty cool. We were in a crew, so we had breakdancing. Hell pieces. yeah. Oh, you, you look them up? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I, I, cool. I had to stop and think, did I just imagine that? Or that really <laughs> no, happened? No, yeah. yeah. Now, Michael, yeah. when you're in a crew, does that yeah. mean that you have to stop and break dance in every, whenever anyone challenges you? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then if you lose, you lose your beats. Really? They yeah. took the beats. Oh. Yeah, I actually watched Michael Bennett and uh, <laughs> and Danny. What was that kid's name? Well, anyway, they they did a break dancing thing for shoes. And at the end of it, the kid had to take off his shoes and give it to the other kid. Oh, and that kid went home with his shoes. And I was like, I my mom buys my shoes at Walmart, and if I have to give up oh. my shoes and go home, and be like, Mom, I had to lose my Walmart <laughs> shoes. I'd be dead. This kid had to go home and tell him he lost his Nikes. I lost him to a battle. You yeah, know? He, listen, it's honor. He battled. He lost his shoes. Integrity, man. Yeah. So can That's I challenge? I can challenge Spanish for his beads, and then yeah. I would take them from him. You yeah. should actually take his hammock. Yeah. Oh, oh no, <laughs> That's, you can't do that. If you want to challenge Spanish, you can, and if you beat him, you get those beads. Yeah. Okay. I challenge you for your beads. To what? It. Trial by combat. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, okay. the, you have the dance. Oh, you have the dance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a dance off? Uh, yeah. yeah. Joe, go get the cardboard. Yeah, Gio's right. going to do some backspin. It's going down, baby. <laughs> Easy with that cracked rib. I've got two cracked ribs. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even move. Yeah. No, 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 no. That was. Uh, we yeah. could do a meditation no, challenge. Yeah, keep the goddamn beans. Uh, you, would, you would go out there, and so it would be like two crews of five or maybe or four people each, and then two guys would go in, and they'd battle each other. Then one would go out, and then the other guy would go in. And at the end, you had to decide who won. You know, we end like this. And <laughs> then you the tag end. the other one in. How Which, how much time did you leave for you guys to kiss? <laughs> oh, that was, that you was that not on the cardboard. You oh, don't do it cardboard. It's like yeah. the Jets versus the Sharks. Yeah, yeah. come on. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's kind of like every Bollywood movie. Yes. We get really close, and then all of a sudden we break out uh, and dance. Yeah. <laughs> now, do they? You get tagged in when the other person comes in. How does that work? You no, just you just kind of know. Yeah. yeah. All right. One all guy right. fades out, and the other guy okay. jumps in. Yeah. The other guy usually literally jumps in and jumps into a windmill or something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it gets going, right? and then sometimes the other guy will be like. Can't, uh, no, I've always up. wanted to be able to do one of those windmills, but I don't think I could ever do it. Oh man, my man Charlie, Charlie really? Teal used to windmill. <laughs> oh, that's pretty yeah, cool. He was insane. That's pretty cool. He could do it, and his whole body would be into it. It was nuts. <laughs> uh, yeah, I never, I never lost my beats because I never really challenged nice. anybody. Smart. Yeah, I was more the mm. bam, guy. Yeah, bam, I wasn't bam, doing bam, any windmills. Bam, bam. <laughs> you actually pull the beads real fast and then you windmill. <laughs> you know, you know where they go. Uh, all right, let's take a break. It's Mike Cal to show. This is one on two five the bone. I did get several emails during the break where people were saying that that woman who I called the smartest caller of twenty twenty four is somewhat uh, incorrect in her saying that they do not pay uh, property taxes. And I've looked it up in different sites. Many of the 
Church of Scientology buildings that are used for other purposes, like we talked about, uh, end up paying a significant sum to the local government. They do pay the property tax on it. So I don't really know. We don't have to get into the minutia of what they do pay and what they don't pay. That woman did bring up a very good point of why people would be upset about them buying up the land. I get it. That's right. Or whether or not it's 100% true, I don't know. But according to several sources online, they do pay the taxes. And then other people have pointed out um, that the Hard Rock has uh, tax exemptions too, and nobody gets mad at that because they get to go over yeah. there and do some gambling. <laughs> Maybe the Scientologists open up a casino downtown. Ooh, they order. Now we're talking. If you hit like a mega jackpot, you get to meet Zenu. Yep, he's there. Oh. He's there. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let's give some stuff away right now. A little bit of Who's Tweet. Here we go. Let the tweeting begin. It's time to play Who's Tweet anyway. On the Mike Calter Show. All right. Uh, it's time for us to give some stuff away to you. We're going to play whose tweet is it. You answer three correct, correct tweets in a row, and you'll be a winner, and we'll pick a line uh, of the people who are on hold right now. We have a full board of phone calls. Galvin, what do we have for whose tweet today? All right. I'm going to read you a tweet from somebody on the air on the Bone staff. You guys tell me who it is. Uh, your first one up has a picture of... Uh, Ah, uh, what's her name? The stupid redhead that uh, had the Ann Kelly. Kathy no, oh, oh, how dare you! Oh, Marconi. <laughs> I'm went. sorry. It was the first redhead I could think <laughs> of. The Marconi. Went. I didn't say it. Kathy Griffin is right, Joe. Yeah. yeah. As a picture of her close up, and the uh, tweet says, "I'm worried about Carrot Top." <laughs> <laughs> Made Gio laugh. <laughs> Whose tweet is that? Done. Done. Gio's done. Mike's done. Done. Carmen's done. Done. Spanish is done. Geo, we're laughing about it. Whose tweet is that? Mo. You said that's Mo. Mike Kelta, who you got? Usually those funny tweets I think are you, and then I guess you, but it wasn't you. I said Mo. Carmen? Geo thought it was funny. That's Mo. <laughs> and Spanish, who you got? When in doubt, we'll coons it out. Uh, three of you said Mo. One of you said Will Koontz. None of you oh. got any points. That was Johnny B. Ah, oh. the other funny one. That was Johnny B. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> this has a uh, picture of this person, and the tweet is, I have a great life, but sometimes I don't know where I fit in. And in quiet moments, my eyes want to break. I'm fine, but I get those that are unsure if they will be. You will. If you believe someone hears you Jesus. when you're quiet, <laughs> someone loves you when you're loud. Jesus wept. Uh, oh. Done. 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 <laughs> I'm done with this goddamn game. <laughs> yeah. Done. All right. Everybody's done. Carmen, who do you have? Uh, that is Drew Garabo. He said it's Drew. Spanish, what do you think? Drew. Mike Kelta, who you got? Reminiscent of Drew, 100% Mo. And Gio, who do you think it is? That is 100% Mo. Two of you said Drew. Jesus Two weeps. of you said Mo. Jesus weeps. Yeah. Jesus weeps for Carmen in Spanish because Mike and Gio got the points. Yep. That was Mo. Uh, I know and, how and, I know. And look at the picture of him. Hold on. Oh, I saw it. That's how I know because I saw it and it said, I got up to, I don't know. I got up to, I don't know where I fit in reading it the other day. And I was like, well, me either. And I just went right past it. This is the written equivalent to your stupid uh Hammock videos, yeah, videos. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I big, accept. Big Dick put your having video up on yeah. YouTube because yeah. he does find value in it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, Big Dick. <laughs> big <laughs> Dick, you're making me question you. <laughs> uh, all right, your next tweet. This has a uh, uh, survey, you know, where you can vote a uh, little thing, and it says, uh, "Did the hamburger hamburger ever actually steal burgers? He did. He didn't. Whose tweet is that? Oh. Done." Mike's done. Done. Carmen's done. I think I, I saw this. Done. Mm -hmm. Can you attach a name to it? Spanish is done. Done. And Gio's done. Carmen, whose tweet is that? Even though there was no emoji, I said emojica. He says Monica. Spanish, who do you think it is? Johnny B. Gio, who you got? Brett. Brett? And Mike Alta, what do you think? Food related, Johnny B. No point. Uh, Damn it. Uh, it was Drew Grabo. It was Drew Grabo. Too short, too yeah. short. Uh, yeah. Did the hamburger 
Do we know the answer? Uh, I don't know. I didn't oh. check. I Jesus didn't. what? Was not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. The hamburger hamburger wept when he didn't get any hamburgers. Uh, this has a picture of this person getting their hair cut, and it's like a selfie in the mirror with the person cutting their hair, and it says, finally, in all capital letters, hair day, and then it has a little hair cutting emoji. Mm. Done. Done. Spanish is done. Carmen's done. Hmm. Done. Uh, done. Mike's done. Geo's done. Geo, whose tweet is that? Will. He said it's Will. Mike Kelta, who you got? Was in doubt. Will Kunst it out. Carmen, what do you think? That's Emojica. And Spanish, who you got? I also went Emojica. Two of you said Monica. Two of you said Will. Spanish and Carmen both get a point on that one. That was Monica. Very nice. There you go. All right. Everybody's tied up with one point. Uh, this one has a screen capture of their phone and it says 228 steps and then the tweet is today was a good day with a smiley face with the tongue out done done, done. mike's done geo's done carmen's done done spanish is done spanish who you got olivero he says olivero taking 228 steps mike helta what do you think john senning john senning carmen I saw this FTW. That nope. is Monica. You only have oh. one point. <laughs> you say Monica? Yes. All right. And Gio, who do you have? Johnny B. Johnny B. Carmen is correct. Oh. That was yeah. Monica. Now, is she bragging that she only took 228 yeah. steps? I'm <laughs> assuming so. that's what it is. Yeah. Well, she's right. tiny feet. Yeah. yeah that's like. Four, oh, that was, four she should have more. <laughs> oh, no. That would mean I mean, it was only like 10 feet. 200 sure. steps for us, for her, is like no. 20 steps for us. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Carmen has two. Everybody else has one. Here's your next tweet. Are you in love with the life you live? Oh, if the answer isn't a resounding yes, do what you can Done. to change things. Done. We tend to put things off until tomorrow. Done. But what if tomorrow never comes? Hold on. You are worthy of love, joy, and fulfillment. Commit to finding... <laughs> And keeping those things today. <laughs> and he drops the phone. One more time. <laughs> That's the second time Galvin's dropped his phone. Today. <laughs> well, one time he threw it. That's uh, true. That's true. Sorry, Galvin. Everybody done? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Does everybody want to answer at once? Yeah. One, two, three. True. 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 Everybody gets a point. <laughs> Carmen wins the game. Yay! Yay! Carmen wins the game. I, I only will have one point. I will say no. I will tell you though. Now, when you read those, I'm a little indifferent. It right. could be. It could be Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's you know your name is New Drew. I don't. Uh, I don't. Drew. Tweet, yeah. He's a tweet. By the right. Way, that's tweet. what gives it away. But yeah. that's what Carmen thinks of you. That's fine. New Drew. Is it? New though? Drew. Yeah. New, New Drew. Drew. New, New Drew. Drew. New Drew. Drew. Oh. Your video version of Drew. <laughs> yeah. You're the video yeah. version of Drew's tweets. Mm -hmm. I accept. <laughs> Drew, our video. You guys ever going to hang out and talk about life levels of consciousness? No. Oh, oh life. No. Uh, do you want to play another round? Yeah. Also, let me point out, Drew, Spanish, I I'm happy that you guys do things the way you do it. I'm not knocking it. I'm just making fun of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> knocking it. It's just different from what I mean. I, the way I, I mean, it sounds. No, I, look, uh -huh. if you get up every morning and you write a manifesto on Facebook about how you love your life and how happy you are. Good for you. You're a happy person. Mm. Well, you? I don't know. I mean, it seems that way. Have you ever seen the thing where it says um, for Valentine's Day, the longer the post, the more they're cheating? Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, point taken. Uh, yeah. Point taken. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do one more round. All right. Here we well, go. Well, hold on, Carmen. Pick a line. Oh, I will go line 14. Mm -hmm. Good morning from Sarasota. Who is this? Hello? Yep, that's you. What is your name, sir? Hey, hey, this is Lewis. How are you guys? Great, Martin? Lewis. You're a winner, but it's going to take a minute, so I'm going to put you on hold. Okay, buddy? Awesome. Thanks, All man. Right, hold on. All right, here we go. Love All is right. 14. Uh, first tweet of round two. This one says, Marshawn Lynch is hilarious in the Amazon Prime flick. Hashtag bottoms. Done. Carmen is done. Done. Mike's done. Done. Gio's done. Done. New Drew's done. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Kelton, who you got? Johnny Bottoms. You say that's Johnny B. Carmen? Thanks as a director. That's Mo. Gio? Johnny B. And Spanish? Corey. 
No points. That was Ethan. Ethan's loving him some uh, Marshawn Mar- 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 Lynch. All right. Uh, all right. Next one has a uh, picture. It's a bottle and a glass sitting at a bar, and it says sometimes scotch. And then it has a winky face emoji. Done. Done. Gio's done. Uh, Spanish is done. Done. Carmen's done. All right. Done. And Mike's done. Spanish? Who you got? I went with Mo. You said it's Mo. Gio, what do you think? Mo. And Mike Kelta? Sometimes Mo. I didn't go. That's Mo. What do you mean you didn't go? Oh, sorry. Well, you said and Mike Kelta. I thought you th- thought I went. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I didn't go. Okay. So I got I'm, it. I'm I got just- it. Why don't you handle answer? I require a buildup before I go. I got you. I got you. Everybody says Mo, including Carmen. Uh, Everybody gets a point. That was Mo. Sometimes Scotch in my life. Uh, This next one has a picture of this person wearing a hat that says Tampa Bay Inferno, and it's a selfie. It says, ready for the Tampa Bay Inferno season to start this month. Fire emoji and a football. Question. Yes. The hell is the Tampa Bay Inferno? I'm assuming it's some sort of indoor football league or something. Mm. Do you know? Do you Done. Know? I don't know. I've Tampa Bay Inferno. Heard it's of that. football, I guess. Done. 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 Mike's done. Spanish done. Geo's done. Done. And Carmen. <laughs> uh, Carmen, who you got? Uh, I said Emoji Guy. You said it's Monica. Gio, what do you think? Inferno fan Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Inferno forever. <laughs> uh, Mike Kelta. <laughs> I thought it was a weird Mexican sport, so I said dizzy. All right. And Spanish, who you got? I said Olivero was. I said Olivero. He's Mexican? He's not. No, but he likes Mexican sports. Oh. Uh, Gio and Carmen get a point. That was Monica. Inferno up. Maybe she can tell us. Inferno up. No. Inferno up. Uh, Gio and Carmen both have two. Mike and Spanish have one because they're the same. Let's Inferno go. Your next tweet says, let's go Skeletor. All in capital letters, three apostrophe uh, uh, exclamation points. I mean, sorry. Uh, and then it says hashtag UFC fight night. Let's go Skeletor. Done. For the win. Geo is done. Done. Mike's done. 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 Herman's done. I'm sad about it. Spanish is done. Uh, all right. Let's see. Spanish. See if you can tie it up. Who you got? That is Mike Olivero. Say it's Mike Olivero. Oh. Oh, Mike Kelta, who do you think it is? I took Donkey Kong, too. You say Mike Olivero? Yep. Geo, you could win it all right here. I took Johnny B. You say Johnny B, sadly. Carmen, who do you think it is? You could win it all right here. I said Corey Cardinal. You said Corey Cardinal. Somebody just won the game. Not me. Sad Geo. Hey! Oh, yeah, surprise. That was Johnny B. Oh, yeah. That was Johnny B. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Surprise, surprise. surprise. I knew it yeah. the whole time. Oh. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, son of a bitch. All yeah. right, Gio, you pick a line. Line five. Line five. Good morning. Who is this? This is Nick. Hi, Nick. You are Gio's winner. Congratulations. woo yeah. yeah. All right, hold on, Nick. Carmen will get you here during the break. Okay, buddy? Yes, sir. All right, Carmen, that's line 14 and line five. Gotcha. Those are your winners for the uh, day. Good job. We must take a break. 727-579-1025 are our phone numbers. If you'd like to get your calls in before the show is over, I will grab those next. We'll take a quick break. This is 1025 The Bone. So I found I found one ticket on the floor, Madison Square Garden. I'm thinking about going, paying a ridiculous amount of money. It's not till September. Yeah. It's in the middle of the week, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It's your birthday. That's what I said. Yeah. I might justify it that way. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Spanish. I needed one person. On yeah, the man. floor for Pearl Jam, Madison Square Garden, uh, do they have a, a, a like general admission pit area or yes. is it seating? So general admission I, pit area? I cannot enjoy a concert uh, like that sitting in the seats, sitting no, no, in no. the stands. Yeah. yeah. yeah so listen. it's a it's a general admission pit area. General admission pit area, Pearl it's Jam, exactly Madison where I saw Square Garden. Last September. I'm going to say uh, you're looking probably around twelve to 1500 mm-hmm. Nailed yeah. it. 1700 yeah. right, Well, you were right around there. Wow. That's pretty good. It's not pretty good. It's well, insane. It's ridiculously yeah, insane. For where you're sitting. Going Here's to- the only reason I justify it by it. It will be the only concert ticket I buy this year. Yeah. Okay. I uh, do not buy a lot of things for myself. Certainly not of that caliber. If my son wanted to go to a concert that was, uh, I don't know, some rapper or whatever, or Drake, like Drake, I went to go see Drake. I bought four tickets for Drake 
that was w- probably well within that range of, of money. I mean, those tickets are ridiculous. And if my wife wanted to go to a concert, I would buy her the tickets immediately. So I think I'm going to buy, I think I'm going to buy. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I'm going to buy right now. And then you add in the, uh, in the flight, in the hotel. No, no, no. That's your birthday. And yeah. I'm not telling anybody that I'm going yeah. like, uh, like from New York. I'm just going in, doing the show and yeah. coming back the next You're going to have a blast. Thank you. It's a pricey day. Oh God, I'm so I'm supposed to go to New York in in this month. The guy, remember my friend that was in here, mm-hmm. who's who was climbing Mount Everest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's having this big gala, and he is honoring people who have helped him in his journey to raise money for money for his son. One of them is me. One of the other ones is a girl named Jennifer Ursillo, who I went to high school with, who does radio in New York. And then there's two other people. I can't go i haven't told him yet but i can't oh, go no. when are you going to tell him and the day before oh. yeah do you want spanish to <gasps> break it to him first oh. that he's not going to run the desert with him <laughs> I, well remember that got canceled oh yeah oh did it get canceled yeah what happened i don't remember but i don't I, know he called me and he was like hey you got to give me that guy's number i want him and i was like i don't want to be any part i of thought this. it was canceled mm-hmm. oh maybe yeah. I don't know. And maybe it was. I don't know. But he did reach out wanting to get a hold of you. I would do it. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it's, you're talking about. It's like a... It is it's like a ultra five marathon. Five day. Yeah. yeah. Five well, day. You, how are you not five do day. that? You're saying. Yeah. yeah five right. day. Yeah. 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 What could you do right now? Like, like you would you have to train for it, you mean? No. He brought that... Well, I mean, what he was telling me, he brought that older woman with him that had never done any of it, and she survived. So, I mean... He paced it out. And it's not like yeah. all at once. Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't listen. I had a. I thought I could run to the stop sign. Of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not running either. You're like uh, it's like a brisk walk, from what he said. Oh, that that's like the people like Mount Everest. I thought they were like hooking and climbing. Yeah, you walk yeah. a path yeah. up the Mount yeah. Everest. <laughs> yeah, with your Sherpa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just walk a path. No big deal. No, but I mean, like, there's not there's not a lot of uh, climbing involved. Yes, yeah. there is climbing, but yeah, not uh, the face of a mountain. Right. Like you're talking about where you're hanging in, but you're climbing, and the elevation is unbelievable. Oh no, no, no! I'm not saying the elements alone won't kill you. What yeah. I'm saying is, is that. To me, I thought all these people climbing Mount Everest were really like yeah. starting at the bottom, <laughs> sticking the little spike in, climbing up, yeah, grabbing no, hook. No. They just walk yeah. uh, the path all the way up, and then they get to a certain point where they got to climb. And their they top, but they, everything. They walk the path of dead bodies. Yeah, yeah. 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 don't they sleep in hammocks on the side of the mountain? Yeah, too? Like oh, that's perfect. I don't know no, how those people have, do that. They, they, but they don't do that, that on Mount Everest. They, they have, have like the base camp yeah, and they do the camps and stuff, and it's not. Where's the one where they literally like yeah, sleep dude. on the side of the mountain? Like, some it's some, there. Ha- some campers do that. Uh, but that's crazy. Did you see uh, that movie with um, uh, what's his name? The the, the climber? Guy? No, the guy's the guy who's oh. married to uh, Barbara Streisand's kid. That's the way I had to go to get his name. Thanos. Oh, Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. That movie that he's in about climbing Mount Everest. I think it might be called Everest. Everest. Yeah, mm. based yeah. on the true Have story. Have you seen that movie? No. So. These guys, I mean, it's uh, it, it's unbelievable what they go through to climb it. So they have to go to base camp, and then in base camp, they have to exercise in base camp before they can go up any further. They have to get the oxygen flowing through their bodies and all that. It's a pain in the ass. But uh, they showed this thing in Josh Brolin, and it was just trying to show what it would be like. That base camp is so high up, that, and they're in like personal tents, not in big tents because they have to carry them with them. And he's laying in what looks like a, a glorified uh, sleeping bag, but the wind is just yeah, whipping, whipping, through. whipping. Like, you can't sleep in that. And, and you have to carry all the stuff that you need, and you need a lot yeah. of different yeah. stuff. And you have the Sherpas that, like, yeah. Spanish is saying, do most of the stuff, and they wind up dying, and mm-hmm. they get paid, like, $80 to do it because yeah. that'll, you know, make them live their whole family for a year and stuff. And, yeah, it's crazy. Last week when I was in Colorado, <laughs> I went on a hike with my wife and my in-laws, and we were at 8,100 feet, and I felt like I couldn't breathe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that all was no joke. Me. I mean, everybody else could breathe, but for some reason, I felt like well, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> was it the crack rib? <laughs> That's what at, <laughs> at any point, did somebody say the double Big Mac? Was uh, <laughs> I was just yelling and mother effing my wife. I'm like, this is the dumbest thing ever. We need to turn around. Uh. I climbed the mountain in Denver with my girl, my then fiance. We climbed this mountain. She made me climb up there, and I was huffing. And yeah. puffing and angry, and I got to the top, and she goes, "But now, 
she was standing there like this and she's like isn't it all worth it and i wanted so bad to kick her center <laughs> yeah. in the back just <laughs> like, front Jesus kick her man, right man. in the center of this her back Sparta. <laughs> yeah, yeah just God. kick her right in the pit man. i mean honestly for a second, I thought it would feel so great to kick her right now. <laughs> Satisfaction. Oh. If I can lift my leg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really, I, I felt an impulse to do it. Yeah. But, um, but you no. can definitely feel the difference when you're oh, trying yeah. to play so it out there. When I was in Tahoe for a week, and Tahoe made me, I actually got in the car and drove to the store to buy oxygen. Oh, and, really? And they were out. Yeah. I couldn't, I, it wasn't so much that I couldn't breathe. It was that I couldn't exert myself at all. Like we were staying up and down the stairs. And when I went up the stairs, I normally felt winded, but I felt like I couldn't get it back. You yeah. know what I mean? That's and terrifying. It's a scary feeling, feeling. Yeah. 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 And then, and it's so funny that they're, they, they sell those little oxygen things mm. that you can buy in Walmart and stuff. And that doesn't do it. You need like the, the full tank mask. The Huberman lab guy um, was talking about one of the breathing techniques that he uses. And I forget the ice guy. Um, some dude who's like always training and naked in ice, uh -huh. but it, it, their breathing technique is you take one big breath in through your nose and then another uh, deep breath and then you blow it all out and it re revitalizes Resets your body it, with yeah. oxygen. Yeah, I don't, Carmen. I don't know how it is with you. When you did the ice bath, did you feel the breath loss? Yes, it. W but it's like a, more of a shock yeah. than it is like it takes your breath away, and it's almost like you don't really feel that because there's so many other sensations going on. I I did that uh, tough mutter, and it was the only oh. one that I ever did. It was ridiculous, and it was 13 <laughs> miles. And I'm like, all right, I've done half marathon, no big deal. I didn't in my head. I just didn't think about obstacles and all the different stuff. The first thing we did and it was probably about 50 degrees outside Ooh. the first thing we did was we had to dive into like a puddle oh. of ice and go under barbed wire Damn. and it was so ridiculous so now the rest of the day you're frozen you're you're yeah. ice cold you're getting hit it, with tasers i've never been struck by lightning but i imagine <laughs> that's what it's like it was <laughs> shocking how cold it was it was just ah! yeah. <laughs> i mean it's unbelievable it just freeze up <laughs> yeah I Bert when it, Bert has the cold plunge at his house, mm -hmm. and he was like, "You can do it." And I'm like, "You know, I'm not doing it." And he goes, "I could teach you how." I go, "What do you teach me? I jump in a bucket of water?" And he goes, "No, I could teach you about your breathing." And I'm like, yeah. I, "I'm not worried about the breathing. I'm worried about that initial shock to your skin that makes you feel so uncomfortable that you're like, I don't want to be in here yeah. anymore." Well, doesn't but, Bert go from the cold plunge to the sauna yeah. to, back to the cold yeah. plunge? Yeah. 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 yeah, but they really had some fascinating stuff about the breathing. How like breathing techniques can take your mind away from all sorts of pain. Mm, let me punch you and see if you can breathe yeah, it away. That's what what will make you feel better. I'm in. I went to at, I don't want to say it was Vegas somewhere that had a nice uh, spa, and they had uh, a hot tub, a cold pool, and like a medium one. You know, I don't know what that was for. I don't know if you were supposed to go from one <laughs> to one to one, but I think that takes the the. Sh shock out of your system yeah. you know when we when my family used to go ski in colorado and steamboat springs there was the place we would stay called timber run and they would have uh, tennis courts that would fill up with snow right by the hot tubs right and we would jump in the snow and then go and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah listen i'm gonna tell you right now i've never felt more like i was in prison than when i was in alaska and i went in the hot tub on the boat in alaska I didn't want to get out. Yeah. I was so afraid to get out. <laughs> like the minute my shoulders touched so the air, I went back down and I was like, I can't. And I remember Joey was little and he's like, we got to go. I go, yeah, I can't. I can't We're get watching out. glaciers calve off. I want to stay right here. Dude, I could not get out. Of, I mean, it was so. I went, what was I thinking? Yeah. What did I think was going to happen when I got out of it? Because yeah. it's nice and steamy on the yeah, inside. Right, but then when yeah. you, once you, the minute you're, something hits the end, I love that my head was cold. Yeah. Like a dog with his yeah. head out the window. Well, I think the hot tubs, you're only supposed to be in there like 15 minutes max. Yeah. yeah. But in, unless you're going to walk freezing. out into a freezing yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. Oh, and pro tip for the cruise, if, you're, if you drink and you get hungover, Go to the sauna. Yeah. First thing That's in the morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Go get go drink some water. Go get some water. Go to the sauna. Sit in. Sweat it out. You will feel better than if you just start drinking immediately. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Start drinking again. I go right to get the yep. uh, pizza, and I start, you yeah. eat a couple slices of the pizza. <laughs> yep. Then you get a drink. Yeah. Kind of shake it off. <laughs> Like, nice. I'm looking forward to this one being real dirty. Morning scotch, yeah. Like, yeah. really, like, fun. Yeah. We should do a, because uh, I think what's going to happen is we have a, a QR code 
that we could update. Yeah. And so if I said, hey, Galvin and I are going to the cigar bar, you meet us there, you know what I mean? But I think we should do like at nine o'clock at night, just be like at, at midnight, everybody in the hot tub. Yeah. As many people That'd as we can in awesome. the hot tub. That yeah. would be awesome. Hot tub I'm look, yeah, I'm looking very forward to the cruise. I think it's going to be a blast. Me too. I think it's really But the be problem fun. with that is with like the main hot tubs out by the pool. Yeah, they close those down. We'll open. Yeah. We'll open. You know, them. Uh, like eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody going to do the flow rider thing on the back? I think so. The boat. Oh, we're do all that. doing it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not, I will not do it. We're all doing it. I tried before. <laughs> I made an ass of myself. Yeah. Listen, People you were don't. Laughing. Ha- you don't have to stand. You can just boogie board it yeah. and do belly. But Gio's I tried that. Got broken was, yes. Yeah, I tried that. It was not yeah. fun. Let me know we when you're doing it. Saturday, I have a pool party. That's right. That's right. I think I'm coming to the pool party. Yeah, me too. Are you really? Yeah. I mean, I can't see any reason. I keep yeah. Googling what to do in Nassau, where to go in yeah. Nassau. I got to be honest with you. Even if you got off the boat and came back, because the pool party's at like two, two. I think, right? Yeah, yeah two to two. four. Yeah. They dock at like nine, I think. Yeah. But what is it? But there's food nothing. This is really the only thing I would get off for is some food. But I did look if there was some four wheeler thing and there isn't. There's a Jeep yeah. ride, but I think it's sold out. And I'm like, mm. there was a spot where we went the last time we were there that has some really good rum cake I want to go back to. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to go to Senior Frogs again. I've no. been there too many times in the yeah. last couple of months. And that's it. The little Irish pool pub around the corner is party. pretty cool. That's the only thing is the Irish band. I'm going to go yeah. somewhere to sit and drink yeah. uh, Irish whiskey. In a, in yeah. And you're going to go to an Irish bar? Yeah, yeah. in the Bahamas. But they also have an Irish bar on the cruise. That is yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah, they have which, some really cool bars on the cruise. Which is a really good one. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah, a, there's a pub better. and it's a whole yeah. Irish pub there. That's it's very cool. cool. This, is gonna be yeah. 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 this boat is so much nicer than last year. Yeah. I'm excited. So I don't know what I don't know which boat this is. I don't think I've been on this, but the the one I went on before last month or whatever was was pretty yeah. comparable to what we're going on, and that thing's fantastic. Yeah. They, I'll tell you what the best thing for me is they've made it so much easier to get on and get off the boat than it used to be. It used to be hell to get on. You had to wait in all these lines mm. and go. Now it's just in and out. Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Yeah, the Are, ship is nice and wide open when you're walking through it and stuff. Oh, it's, like it's good. It. Are we going to coordinate time that everybody's getting to the boat? So we could do like uh, uh, podcast and all that before the... I was going to say that the other thing, because we have our party. party. We have that. So are we doing the podcast before or after? We normally do it before. But we my, do? Yes. But check-in. Yeah. I don't know but, what everyone's check-in right. is. My check-in is like me getting onto the boat, walking into the party. It seems oh, like the really? party is earlier this time around. Yeah, it I mean, is. It's just me. So no, let's do it after the first party. Okay. So we can get a little loosened up at the first oh, party. Okay. And then go do the podcast. No cursing. No curse, please. No cursing. Anybody please. that curses has got to put a dollar in and Spanish gets to keep the whole. Oh, oh. man, I like that. Tip a dollar. dollar. A whole <laughs> dollar. Yeah. No cheap out. <laughs> you know how many rum cases you can get for a dollar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get a slice. You get well, a slice. you know what I'm saying. We yeah, can do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to swear 200 times. Oh, you got to take it off my it. bill. Yeah. <laughs> put that so, one on the tab. <laughs> because the first party is at 3.30. Whoa! 3.30. For, yeah, That's for everybody. Early. For everybody listening, and I think the latest uh, you can get on the boat is like two thirty. I was gonna say, what time do we leave? The uh, four I gangway think. up at three thirty. Yeah, and be there because you will get left okay, behind. Okay, so like at our party, Listen, we're gonna be like, we're moving. Yeah, yeah. right. Carmen uh, scared me into uh, leaving, taking the, day. taking the day off. So we're She's leaving at eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, no. yeah common I didn't, sense. I didn't yeah. scare you. No, I, you did. That is the, literally, I I'm just scared. told you that's a good idea, and you go, no, we'll be fine. We'll leave at like 11. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm, we won't I'm miss the now. boat. Yeah, see? Because every time you look, like, look up traffic right now. Yeah, I it's, bet yeah. that it's, it's supposed yeah. to be three hours, and I bet traffic, it's about probably four and a half hours right now. Are you guys taking that no- going north and then coming down? You're just going to go straight through? Yeah. If we're allowed the time, might as well use it. Yeah. yeah if this right. left right now... It would be two hours and fifty-one minutes to get yeah. to Cape Canaveral. Oh, there you go in your face. Do you want it? Do you want to <laughs> see uh, me tomorrow or Thursday on the way to the cruise? Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm driving everybody, yeah. so I can't sleep. Who are you driving? You, Joe? Me, Joe, Dizzy, and his cousin. Oh, Joe, is yeah. his cousin a guy or a girl? Guy. He's cool. He's cool. I'm, hung out no, I'm not saying he's not cool, but remember when he brought that big booby girl last time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah. fun. Yeah, but I have a feeling there's going to be a lot Does of she go this year? women on the cruise. I don't know. Does the bees allow you to meet women? 
Does the what? Your beads allow you to meet oh, yeah. women? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. It's definitely a con- I thought you said bees. I was like, well, bees? Oh. <laughs> I think the beads stop him from meeting women. Uh, yeah. Are you open to relations on the cruise with the beads? With the- oh, with, like, what do you mean? <laughs> with the I mean, beads. Just you and the beads. Like, yeah. yeah, just you and the beads. <laughs> I don't know what you do. When you make sweet right? love to a woman, do you just wear I, nothing but the beads? Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you wrap her in the beads with you? Do you yeah. wear them together? Yeah, I choke her. I'll choke her with the beads. You, oh. If she's into that. Are you and Dizzy going to set up any kind of warning signs? If maybe there's a lady back in the room, uh, well, that'll probably be a dizzy. Thing. He's not yeah. room. He's not room with dizzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. switch they so switched. that they're yeah. together. Oh, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Dizzy hates Tom, so he didn't want to room right. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not true. Stop trying to drive a wedge, Gio. <laughs> yeah. Well, was he not rooming with Tom before? Now he's not. He was. He was. Did, did he tell you about the video he sent me yesterday? Mm-mm. You were on. He was with you, and you were coughing your your brains out. And he sent me a uh, video, and he said. Um, that he's thinking about moving back in with Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a blast. We, we hung out yesterday, went down to the pier, and we had a blast yelling at people. Did Joe go with you? No, no, no judging. No. Joe, yelling at people? You're just, oh, yeah, dude, just going to the pier and yelling So at there's people. like a little... I don't uh, really want to yep. know. Uh, Tom, <laughs> uh, in Dizzy's defense, Tom keeps on getting him confused with one of his grandkids. And he kisses him. Uh, yeah. uh, t- right before he tucks him in at night. Uh, he's like Hezbollah, the, the Hezbollah, whatever that little... Uh, Midget's name is uh, Mike Tyson tried to pick up. Hey, Dizzy. Joe, are you feeling like you're left out? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Joe. Oh, totally. yeah. No, no, I'm fine. I mean, you know, if they want to go beat it up and do whatever they, oh. you know, whatever they're doing, that's that's all right. They Just, don't invite you? No. Are you rethinking about bringing sugar pants? Uh, no. Mm. No. You're a solo? Yeah. Okay. As, I mean, I, that was the arrangement. Yes. Yeah. Boys crew. Boys crew. What that was, was, am I allowed to bring her? That's <laughs> no, <what> that's <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. It's too late now. Joe. Oh, it's too late. It's never too late. Never too late. Never too late. I said to my wife the other day, I was like, ah, I'm really, really upset that you're not going. I was 100% old. <laughs> I think she knows. Listen, I've been having a great time with her. She's been a lot of fun to hang out with, and we spent a long, lot of hours together. But I need this one to go mm-hmm. chill yeah. out and have Voice fun. Cruise. I don't need her to bring me down. Hey, how much money are you bringing to gamble? Enough. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, okay. I got it. I felt Good it. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I felt right. him. I felt him. Yeah. I uh, I had to ask my wife. I had to go. Uh, so how much am I gonna? Can I? Uh, oh, then yeah. she responds the same thing. Well, how much do you want to bring? And I go ten thousand dollars. And she's like, Well, that's not gonna happen. I said, oh. Okay. I didn't think it was, but you asked me a question of how much I want to bring, and I told you how much I want to bring. You go so, high first and work your way down. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Anytime I want to buy something, she goes, Well, how much is it? I go, It's $8,000. Yeah. She's like, That's ridiculous. I go, It's only 400 She goes, Well, that's fine. Yeah. I remember, uh, uh, I think it was the last one or one of them. I uh, won immediately. Like the first night I won, and I think I was up like $1,500. And I went right down to the front desk and I go, Put this towards my stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go back and gamble or do anything. And just paid for everything. Yep. Yep. Ugh. If you could pay for your cruise in that casino on the first night, you're in great shape. Yeah. yeah. And give it to them so you're not, well, I'm, I'll win more, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> shut up that they loosen the slots and they do all this stuff the first night. No, they don't. Yeah, they That's don't do that. That's why did everybody say that? Because people don't know. That's yeah. completely against the law. There's no way they could possibly do that. No. no. But they're out oh, really? Yeah. There's no way. I didn't see anybody win the last night. They're all yeah. winning the first night. Mm hmm. Yeah. It must be so much fun to win. Yeah, <laughs> it, looks, it looks like like it looks like a lot of fun. It's fun. You will man. never know. It's fun. <laughs> I wish I could just go. Like, yeah, it was up. You know, twenty five hundred bucks the casino. So I uh, like roulette. That's really like the only game I play on the cruise. And I found this guy that teaches you how to bet your first like few hands and your. I got odds. you. I got you covered. Mm-hmm. Well, your odds of winning. You yeah, your, your odds of winning go like up. Like you're basically seventy five percent. I think guaranteed I, to win. Do you see on Instagram? The, yeah, with the guy with the algorithm. Yep, and oh, it's yeah, like that too. you bet a hundred dollars, you're gonna be by doing this, you have yeah. a seventy five percent chance of winning two hundred. And this, so and you that. bet so, on the first twelve, you bet on the second twelve, yep. and then you bet on the uh, uh, the first and third. Yeah, and the on other the thing, whatever. Yeah, so there's only a few numbers that you're not covering. Right, and if you bet a hundred dollars, then you'll uh, I think one hundred fifty or one hundred seventy five or whatever it is that you win. So right. it's little increments that yeah you'll build up and do All that. Right. And grind so it I up. think I'm gonna do that to start off with, get my pile big, and then just go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought they say you should never bet big to win small. 
Like that's not what you do. Yeah, no, the, yeah, because if you lose, then you lose right. a lot, and you're like, yeah, I never bet. Like if it's a minus or something, whatever, I'm never betting that. Because some Be- people do that; they'll bet big, just even though they're going to win small. In yeah, increments. I don't like to do that. I don't like to do that because you're risking you. too okay. much. Yeah, you're risking too right. much. I would rather bet twenty five to win a crazy amount. You know what I mean? Plus right. five hundred or something, whatever. Than I would bet uh, ten thousand on a. Minus five hundred, but right. your chances of winning for your bet is a lot are a lot lower. I, no, like the way oh. Galvin's talking about betting, your chances of winning are lower. You'll win more, but that's just gambling, right? Be- exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's. So. I'm gonna lay a hundred on black right out of the way, right out of the gate. <laughs> Let's do Boom. it. I'm in. Carmen, I'm Give sitting you. with you. And I'm probably going to okay. play three-card poker. I really enjoy three-card poker. I hope you guys week. join me for the uh, bet with Mike. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do it. Get oh, some yeah. Oh, yeah. Gio, so I used to go over to uh, Biloxi, and I would drive over there because it was, you know, like two and a half hours. And this was when I first got down here, and I didn't have a lot of money, and I was gambling and doing it, and I would bet on the red or black. I would just do that and double it up. And so I would go over there and I did it a few times and I was winning and I had a $500 chip and I was like, Oh no. man, $500 chip. That was, that was a lot. I was, like, I was blown away by this. And I went over and I put it on black uh. and like people at the table were like, Oh, 500. And I was like, yeah, oh, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> but I ran, and it rolled and it went and hit red and I just turned and walked away <laughs> <laughs> and waited, waited until I got like 20 feet away and just went, Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurt uh, so bad. Did you have like the cold sweat that like oh, goes over your body? Dude, you have uh, no idea. I, I mean, you know, you know how whatever you don't have yeah. a lot of money. And that was like all the money in the world. It and I thought for grand. sure I was going to double it up. <laughs> and I lost it and just, just a gut punch. And I just turned and went. Oh, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, win some, you lose. Uh, uh, man, look at that guy. Didn't even affect him. Me out in the parking lot, smashing my hand at the door. Uh, <laughs> you idiot. Oh, You're out in Gen Pop with the losers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got pumpkins up in. I'm impressed by my wife. My wife will only gamble a little bit. Like, she'll only bring a little bit to gamble, but wins. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'll do big sweeps of, you know, I lost this much, but I came back up and then won this, whatever. She just grinds it out and does it. Last time we went there, the first night, the first night we were there, they comped all her drinks. They sent her, like, uh, chocolate covered strawberries and stuff to the room and everything Uh-oh. and gave her a card where she didn't uh, have to pay for any drinks or any stuff. I go, yeah, there you go. All right. I like Good that. job. Now give me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they should give you the drinks, and the free stuff when you're losing a bunch. Yeah. So, like, yeah. so you'll keep playing. Oh. Well, they did that to me in the casino. Uh, last cruise, the guy came over, he goes, can I see your car? I thought I was in trouble. And I was like, yeah, I took it on. I gave it to him and he hole punched it. And he's like, drinks around the casino. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, I'll take that. And she'd be like, oh, this guy's a loser. We've That's taken a bunch of money. That's all it is, is a hole punch? No, it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I'm <laughs> I, can, I got everybody. Yeah, no. It, although I'm, I'm a status now that gets me free drinks. Yeah. Like, not all the time, but. I go to buy a coffee, and they're like, do you want to use your diamond thing? I go, yeah, sure. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. An hour later, it doesn't matter to me. Make it a frappuccino. Mm. Uh, here's what you do, though, if you want to get some comps and do stuff. An easy way to do it is say you're going into the casino, and you have $500. You uh, change it into chips for $500. Play something that you're not gambling a lot, not losing a lot, whatever. Then say you're down to $450. Uh, you take that. You go back to the cage. You t- change it back into money. Then you go back, sit down. Now you bought another 450 So now you're up to $950 worth of stuff. Mm-hmm. And if you win or lose, yeah. you know, whatever you're doing, you keep doing that. If you go down to 400, if you go up to 600, change it in, keep doing that. Yeah. So now it looks like you bought in a bunch and you're spending a bunch of money and they'll usually copy yeah. and do you some Plus, stuff. I I get, they're that. giving me the free stuff because they want me to keep playing, which means oh, the odds of me losing the money <laughs> and giving it back to them is higher. Yeah. Oh, my God. We talked about this story earlier. Look at that dog. That was Angie Herman's dog. Yeah. What yeah. a beautiful dog. Yeah. I know. Now I'm mad right? at that guy for shooting the yeah. dog. Oh, if it is the ugly dog, you're cool with it? Well. <laughs> it depends on what it was. If I got attacked by a Doberman, I'd be like, well, I didn't really have to do. But that dog was beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there, man. That seems pretty sketchy. The The fact that the guy was using someone else's profile yeah. to do the deliveries and stuff. And I know people do that, but you're not supposed to. Instacart fired the guy or suspended him or did whatever. And they're working with them. So we'll see what happens. But mm-hmm. crazy. That is crazy. Uh, did you see Ronda Rousey has a, uh, a book, book coming out? Yeah. 
Uh, Our fight is it called? I don't know, but I'd like somebody just to tell me about it. I'm not going to read it because I don't like her. Yeah. yeah. After having her on the show, she's such an attitude. Yeah, yeah. I, I did not know that she had a book come out, but I've seen that she's been putting stuff out that she had a bunch of con- concussions <laughs> and all this different stuff. So yeah. I, uh, it makes sense that she has a book coming out. She just, uh, when we had her on the show, she was so bitchy. Mm-hmm. And I asked her if she'd ever fight a man. And she was like, why would I do that? I was like, I don't know. Because it's the natural progression of you've beaten every woman, and now you're going in the WWE. It seems like they're setting you up to fight a dude. I won a bunch of money off of her losing to Holly Holm. Yeah. That was great. Man, Amanda Nunez kicked her ass. Oh, Amanda Nunez. Once Holly Holm beat her, then it was like it's all over. And uh, Nunez was unbelievable. And I told her, I go, good. I'm I'm, I'm thinking about it now. I'm glad I said this to her. I go, what? You have one move. You got the arm, the arm move, and I go. Once they figure that out, you're you're done. And that she little, got uh, so mad. Judo hip toss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she got so mad. I was like, once they figure out the arm bar, and she's like, well, I, that's not how I won my last fight. <laughs> yeah. like, All right, now oh, that worked out. Don't be so yeah. bitchy. <laughs> I cannot beat her up. Uh, I bet you could. No. Just saying that now before people were wondering. <laughs> people were sitting there going, "You think Mike could take her? He could find a bobcat." <laughs> I think you climb Mount Everest. It's just a big path. Yeah. Yeah. You're just walking up. Yeah, I don't even, I'll be honest, I don't have a winter jacket, so yeah, it's probably be difficult. You the Sherpa mine. will have one. Who? The Sherpa. They're not going to have a 3X. Oh, they will. You might be better to hang three Sherpas on me. <laughs>